Uh, we live? We live? We live? Seems good. All right, let's continue with space exploration. We're in... I'm stuck on Nalvis again. The horror, the horror. Uh, I want to do a couple of things this stream, including... Uh, I actually decided I do want to throw together one more science in the spaghetti science. That being Astro 2, because that will get us uh, superior inserters. Uh, I really, really want the long arms, not just that are fast, but I, I want long arm filter inserters for some of the builds that are coming up. Um, and I don't want to particularly have to build around that while we build stuff in the rail network. Veldak, fat boy not so slim, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so with that said, let's throw together some Astro... Astro 2. Um, and see what that would look like. Where are we doing Astro 1? Is this it? Yeah, it is. Do we have a random server lying around? We do not. Quick question, asteroid belt mining for Naquium? What do I do for power? Oh, you mean like asteroid field? Like way out where there's no solar? Now that I'm on leave, I'm trying to complete my 0.5 SE base. Nice, nice, nice. Uh... For my tastes, the best way to deal with it is energy beaming, but you could also take some, uh, you know, some antimatter or nuclear power or something. Um, either way, you're going to want the high temperature steam turbines. Um, steam turbine. Advanced steam turbine? What is this? That's not what I was thinking of. Uh, here we go. High temperature turbine generator. Try beaming and see what happens. Nice, nice. There's a pretty easy build... Okay, spoilers if you want to figure it out yourself. But, um... If, as I recall, there was a pretty easy... Power plant to put together... Uh, where you don't need any Naquium pipes to make the most of the heat coming from the energy beam receiver and use the high temp stuff. Um, just connect eight of these directly to the energy beam receiver, and from there it's honestly pretty easy. Uh, I think I have a blueprint for it. Where would it have been put, though? Uh, power? Here we go. Oh, this was the old... This... This was before... The high temp stuff. What a monstrosity. And then we've got... This thing. Yeah, it's sideways. Not, not too difficult to put together. Uh, but yeah, you can fit eight. The main thing is uh, you can fit eight high temp heat exchangers around the beam receiver, which is going to be more than you need, honestly, uh, for any little mining outpost. I did black solar panels and efficiency modules. Interesting. Good enough, but for Foenestra... I'll surely do antimatter reactors. Looks easy enough to do, indeed. Um, speaking of easy enough to do, what does Astro 2 look like? Astro 2, we need broad catalog and everything else is already done. Uh, broad catalog is made in computer, right? Broad catalog is made in research server, actually. Duh. 
So we need microwave, and this is exactly the same kind of layout as last time. Uh, but we just need microwave, x-ray, grav, and gravity. Microwave... Uh, astrometrics facility. Uh, what do we have here? Microwave. Does the same machine do any of these others? X-ray. Uh, radio wave gamma. That's not what we're looking for. Grav. Uh, gravitational lensing and gravity wave. That is a gravimetrics facility and probably another gravimetrics facility. Oh, this one's laser. Gravimetrics facility. And laser, that's thermo, laser facility, uh, gravity wave data, is that it? Gravity wave, gravitational lensing, uh, x-ray, and microwave, pull, pull, pull. We need microwave observation frames, x-ray observation frames. Microwave is, weirdly enough, in a microwave telescope. And x-ray, probably something similar. X-ray telescope, it's a bit smaller. Uh, and then we already have this prerequisite. It's going to be quite slow. Uh, and we already have this prerequisite. It's the same one. So we literally just need, like, this many more buildings. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, all right. Astrometrics facility, do we have any of those lying around? We do not. Astrometrics. Fantastic. Literally just need a couple. Maybe I'll make a spare or two. Nah, it's fine. Oops, too late. Uh, gravimetrics. We needed one of these, I think. Oh, I probably shouldn't have wrecked that whole logistic request setup. Anytime you're ready, start to put in the other two resources. Not today at this rate. There we go. Um, and we need how many? Just one. We need microwave and x-ray telescopes, laser facility if we don't already have it. Whoops. We do have a laser facility. Uh, tell us. No. Okay. Microwave. Gonna need some glass. And that's it. Hurry up with the space assembly machines. And then x-ray. Almost the same.
maybe I should have done an auto... You know what I should have done with this is one of those auto crafters where we ping in... Uh, we pulse in what we want it to make and it'll work through it all. Oh well. We're not going to be using this much longer. Are we out of aeroframe poles? We are. Are they being delivered? They are not. Are they being made here? Not that I can see. Aeroframe pole. Should be getting delivered immediately. Fantastic. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I broke something. I can't add the umbrella into the editor extension surface. Uh, if it's the parallel surface to the main game, then you can't add anything that sends things across uh, surfaces or... Yeah, you didn't you didn't mess anything up. That's normal. More faster all day, indeed. Um. Okay, and we had like two research servers, right? We still don't have this though. Why not? Oh, because the train hasn't arrived yet. Uh, that's probably why. Yeah, there there it goes. All right, and then research server. Fantastic. Get in there. One more. All right, so we should have everything we need to spaghetti together some... Uh, Astro 2. And I kind of want to put these telescopes over here. So we don't have to put the frames in the bot network. X-ray can go here-ish. Microwave up here. Uh, we need a gravimetrics somewhere. Maybe I'll put all of these together just for the simplicity of it. Alright, so broad catalog. What temp is this? Negative 100? Is it the same as what we have here? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Maybe I'll even put it up here. Uh, and the Astro Science Pack 2 does need astronomic insight. I would love to just steal them from this belt. What if, hypothetically... That's not going to fit as well as I would quite like. Maybe I should just do more pipes over here. Oops. So if we had inserter. Maybe these two could go this way. Uh, input fluid down here. And 
to swap these out. So that's how we're going to get our insight. And then probably just to request a chest for the rest. No stress. Can we get a bit of power down here? Is this a buffer? Yes, it is. That works. Uh, and then we just have to make the four data cards. And we need an output um, for this, obviously. And we'll put the same kind of limit on it. Okay. So now we just need... Uh, super cold, super cold. Which one were these? UV? No, x ray. I'll just double check that. Microwave, x ray, grav, grav. Uh, x ray, microwave. These, these two are microwave? Uh, X-ray... That doesn't actually make the data. Grav and... Do we need another gravimetrics facility? I think we do. No, that's the only recipe. Which, which machine was it? Oh, a laser facility. Okay then. Laser facility. Um, we can put this anywhere. Let's just put it over here. Oh, except it needs coolant, I think. Or I could be wrong. I think it doesn't need coolant. Yeah, it's really, really, really straightforward. Just give that a long arm. And through the junk cards in here and request like so junk data card fantastic uh, apparently we don't have active providers here Okay then, how much power is this? One megawatt. I think we're fine. Uh, do we even have negative 273 coolant somewhere? In the spaghetti block? We do. It's way over here. I think that's the only... The only negative 275 that we have. That looks kind of weird. I don't think that's representing that correctly. Um, but yeah, if I want to borrow negative 275 that we already have, I'd either have to pipe it from here or move these machines over. I think I'll pipe it. Can we get an underground pipe like this? Yes, we can. Fantastic. And let's see. I also need multispectral mirrors, which... Here they are. They're actually in the robot network. Uh, and this is a convenient bit right here. As is this, potentially. Uh, 
where do I want to do the, like, probably like there, so we'll remove this one for now. And I guess, like so. Cool. Um, we're also gonna need multi-spectral mirrors. Let's just do a little request for that. And then... Figure out our pipelines. That would be nine tiles, wouldn't it? Cool. Oh. And what's this? Microwave data and blank cards. It's all solids. We can just do this with the robot network. Uh, it would help if we had any active provider chests, though. Can I make some here? Surely I can. Yeah, definitely. I might just throw together another one of these little things. Active provider chest. Fantastic. Are we missing long pipe? Uh, I see our machines are making pipe. But I don't know that we have anything set up to make longer pipe. What do we... What, what ghosts do we have here? Just four fifteens and a three. Two threes, actually. a chest for everything that we're not direct inserting, which is to say blank data cards. And we're already getting all of this stuff. Fantastic. Um, active providers, that should be enough. Uh, and we might want to limit these. Microwave observation data, yeah, yeah, yeah. Microwave observation data less than, say, 50. We're still missing X-ray and gravity. Uh, gravity is in the laser facility. And microwave should be on its way already. Oh, it is, yeah. X-ray and gravity. X-ray, uh... We haven't done our output here for... Observation frames. I think we're missing one more machine as well.
which is one astrometrix facility. And gravity wave data. Uh, we can pretty put pretty much put anywhere except for the fact that we need coolant. And this comes out at negative 10. Where's our negative 10? Good question. That's negative 100? Um, is there nowhere? Oh, here it is. This is negative 10. That's going to be a challenge to spaghettify. Um, hmm. I, I don't know how... Maybe I'll use barrels. What if the only thing that matters is how many hot dogs you can eat in 90 seconds? Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think this might literally be our only negative a hundred, uh, negative ten degree. And there's like a radiator over here. There's negative ten up here as well, and that's not going anywhere. Um, alternatively, I could literally just have one more thermal radiator to cool this down to negative 100 and just put it back in here. Which would also be a bit of a nuisance still, actually. Uh, oh, this is negative 100. That shouldn't be that hard. Let's be ultimate lazy spaghettifies. Nine tiles. Do we have a thermal radiator? Probably not. Can we make one like so? Um, yes, yes, we can. Cool, cool, cool. And what about nine length pipe? Fantastic. Yeah, those radiators. How fast is this? Um, five per second, four point nine per second. No, oh, it's actually basically one to one. Okay. So unless I wanted to seriously bottleneck this. Uh, with the efficient recipe. I don't care that much. So we need astro data. Find its way over here. And we need to limit gravity wave data in the robot network. Is that the last of it? There's also X-ray still. X-ray observation. Here it is. Uh, so we're going to direct insert that. We're going to need blank data cards. And we're going to need yet another 
controlled output. This is X-ray observation data. And that should be it. That wasn't so bad. I should have cobbled this together before. Now we can have superior long inserters. Uh, right after we do aeroframe scaffold. So it's going to be 100 plus 500 but with a productivity discount of uh, 48%. Uh, 600 over 1.48, is that right? We need 405 and a bit uh, recipes. Or 400 and so, 400 some... Astronomic Science Pack 2, so just over a hundred recipes. Only half paying attention, I hear lung inserters? And I know you meant long inserters. How how dare you? My my pronunciation is perfectamundo, always. It has to be. What what kind of modules do we have lying around here? A million efficiencies? What? No. No, bad. Rav can have a pair of efficiency ones. That's not what I meant to click. Uh, these are F. A couple of efficiency ones. Astrometrics facility and these two telescopes. E one. And then I don't think we need those speed modules. Uh, you know what? Close enough. We've already got plenty of power anyway. Should I do all my science in the home planet orbit, or is that bad? It's not bad. Uh, every approach has advantages and disadvantages. There's no perfect way of doing things. I don't want to do Nalva stuff. Uh, IT hacks, there is a seven length pipe missing from when you TD in the thermal reactor. TD? Oh, this one? Oh, god damn it. There we go. Good catch, thank you, Budgie Bum. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Aliens, welcome also. Products finished, one crafting speed. One. Uh, gravity wave data. It's not our bottleneck. We just don't have an output for this. Wait. Oh, this is wrong. Uh, I need a... I need a hypercooler to go from negative 10... down to negative 100. And the layout of the pipes is going to be super inconvenient, of course. Um, I 
guess we could go up this way. And then... I'm just going to be lazy here. And one more. Do we not have the basic space pipe? Oh, it's being bottlenecked. It's all being poured into this. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now we get more than one recipe of Astro Science 2. Nice. Alright. So we will have the tech for extra special long arm inserters soon. My god, that train is slow. I'm so used to the overpowered fast ones now. Good grief. I could almost outrun it. Oh, I think I did set up... It's going to be rather slow, but I did set up automatically clearing out Nalvis. Apparently we've run out of heavy girders. Are we even requesting heavy girders, or did I just bring them over once? We are requesting heavy girders. Oh no. Oh no. Iridium is too slow for this. Um, why do we have no crushed iridite? Because we have no core fragments. Because... Did we fix the cargo rocket section stuff yet? Uh, apparently not. I think we fixed it, but it might not have caught up just yet. Let's see, cargo, rocket, sections, oh no, what's going on here? I thought we fixed it. Um, what's missing? Beryllium plate? Is, is that it? Beryllium plate? Oh no, don't tell me we have a standstill. There's still barrel in here. And there's no cryonite on the left? Is that a problem? I don't think it is. Why is this stopped? Because sand is backed up here. Oh! That's interesting. I guess we do need to take the sand on this side as well. Make sure it finds its way over here. Hmm. Let's grab our construction train. Park over here for a while. And basically, numerically, we were taking enough sand from here to make sure uh, that it doesn't saturate like this, but the way it consumes uh, the cryonite rods. And apparently I didn't request quite enough cryonite. 
Wait, do we have cryonite rods? We do, but... Is that the reason why it's busted? Are we just not fast enough on cryonite rods these days? I thought we made it faster than it was before, though. Is that why your train tracks are gridded out? Because of the construction train? Uh... No, I had the grid before the construction train. Boovin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I did speed up our consumption and production of Crynite a little while ago. So I'm surprised we're having trouble with it now. Why grid then? Uh, because it's very neat and organized and... Especially when you have to deal with uh, secondary outputs all the time in space exploration, it makes it a lot easier to deal with that, to just have a high priority train pickup. Um, so what I was going to do here was, like, you know, put this to merge the sand and bring it over this way, but I don't think that actually makes that much of a difference, because we've only got 384 cryonite rods here. Um, I've requested 17k, which is... Um, huh. Yeah, 16k used to be two train loads, or one train load actually. Now it's not even two train loads, well there's your problem. 21k. I should keep an eye on this because it's a bit imbalanced though. Uh, what about barrel? Stack size 50? Uh, 5,000 would be one train load, so 8k should be fine. But I could probably bump that up a bit more. Two train loads. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Which train is coming here? Um. Block off the entrance. I just accidentally copy pasted the barrel settings to. Uh. Iridium. Shift right click, shift right click, there we go. Well, that one's got plenty of cryonite, but no barrel. So it doesn't seem like that was actually causing a problem? Question mark? Like, not yet? Anyway, we're now able to produce again, which means this will consume again, which means this will move forward, which means this will work. Uh, I guess I need to do... That's our only Iridium processing area, so I need to do this again from scratch. Uh, these two no-pathing... Well, I kind of need to give them a different destination now, because they're full of stuff. Water, we can just get rid of somewhere. Um... But how? I don't suppose this build has water? It kind of does. Okay, so I'll have the train come here instead. Temp stop here, then go to this station. Why can't I... Why can't I give it a temp stop now? What just happened? Do I have to have it on automatic to give it a... Okay. Uh, why does it... What is going on? Oh. Oh, I stopped it at the worst possible moment, apparently? You're joking. Is it stuck there unless I go and add more signals? It's no path in all directions. 
aliens thank you for the follow welcome welcome hope you're doing well okay i'm gonna have to do some some surgery here uh wait for indefinitely turn this thing off of automatic for the moment and i'll have to put a temporary god how many signals am i gonna have to add to make this happen two i think okay so could you please park yourself here and await further orders and could you please remove those two signals that we just added fantastic all right now would you please drop your water off here and then go back to depot cool 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 got there eventually don't need to wait five seconds uh, what no no stop god damn it stop stop why is it so fast holy crap please don't get stuck again i think it's fine okay come back here go here and wait until empty yes okay and i'll need to take this condition off temporarily we're gonna purge that water we're gonna turn this off because it's gonna immediately schedule another train whoops we're going to that actually does have water water greater than zero all right cool great fantastic let's wait till the other train gets here to make sure it's not going to overfill i think there should probably be enough room we're automatically removing the extra after all well i could just leave it here until that happens but this will work better Are there more benefits for space trains other than speed and acceleration? Uh, the locomotives, it's basically just speed and acceleration. And also, well, with the advanced electric engines in there, the fuel efficiency is incredibly high. Uh, but also the space cargo wagons and space fluid wagons have uh, a bit more, 25% more capacity walk no welcome welcome hope you're doing well they look cool indeed they do uh so you're dropping off sulfuric acid to a place that doesn't make sense uh luckily i have the perfect place for you to drop off sulfuric acid Wait until empty, please. And I'll have to do the same thing here where I flip around this setting. Because the logistic train stop output does get a signal from a vanilla schedule, a train coming here. But it's the reverse of what we would normally be looking for. Luckily, we just happen to have this... Uh, relatively low request for sulfuric acid plenty of storage space don't forget to swap these back we get a negative one signal from the ltn train stop output if a fluid wagon is dropping off fluid Right then. Is this fixed? I see no barrel, so yeah, probably. I don't think we actually need to change the design. Um, but apparently we're really struggling to keep up with cryonite rods all of a sudden. 
What's our rate? I'm, I find it strange considering that we had a lot more, like we added a lot more Chronite Rod production than we had before. Well, how much does this produce? 47.6 uh, crystals per second. This can consume only 30. And powder, I'm pretty sure we're always still overproducing it. Although this is coming to pick it up here, so maybe not. Anyway. The long and short of it is, we should probably make another block like this. And we'll put it right next to our Cryonite Crystals. And I just realized, because I'm not on this surface... Um, we don't have any pylons here. Did I leave some in the mall? I long I did. That's a star. Okay. Um I guess I'll swap out some rail. To add some pylons. And we'll need to add those over here somewhere. Actually, why don't I just copy-paste this? And those should already be getting delivered. Fantastic. I still haven't come up with a design I like for... I mean, I haven't really put any time in, into it. But to deliver from the mall upstairs... Oh no, wait, I forgot. We do make pylons here. We don't need any space stuff. That's good. That's a big help. Alright. Pylons have already arrived. Fantastic. I don't really care about getting rid of these extra rail right now. Let's park ourselves down here. Wait for plenty of inactivity. And we should be able to remove old power poles and copy-paste. What's in the, in the way? Rock. That's fine. Let's see if there's anything missing. We might have to make two trips, that's okay. How do you fuel the trains? Uh, it is called a space train power pack. You have to build them in their discharged state, where they stack to 60, and then bring them to a... Uh, what's it called? A space train battery pack charging station. 99% of the time it'll output a charged power pack. 1% of the time it'll be destroyed, and the destroyed ones uh, we just need to drop into a recycling machine with some sulfuric acid and lithium sulfur battery to refurbish it. So it's a little bit of a logistical challenge slash headache compared to fueling trains normally. Um, but you do benefit from it. I, I was very unimpressed with the default setting of how much charge the power packs held. Um, the uh, the only other setting, unless you're going to like edit mod files or something, is to double it. But actually, once I added the advanced electric engines, uh, as I kind of expected... Because we're getting all this free acceleration out of the electric power from the power armor grid, um, 
basically it makes the space train power packs, uh, the fuel, go much, much further. So now they're actually kind of extremely efficient. Um, Alright, we're going to have to get our construction train back in there. Can I... Hmm. I forgot to do it before it came back though, so now I kind of have to... I kind of have to wait until it's fully loaded, because if I add a temp stop now, it's going to leave the station immediately. But we're almost done. There we go. So park here. Uh, wait for inactivity. And then I'll add another stop as well. Park here, wait for inactivity after resupplying. And that... I, I would be surprised if it doesn't get built this trip, but that should be more than enough. Actually, we don't have furnaces? What? Or are we just not requesting that many per trip? 20 furnaces per trip. We've got 64 here. Damn. Okay. That's, um, that's gonna add up. Uh, we also need some wide area beacons, which I think I left here. We've got 28. So, let's do that. I don't know which wagon I want to put them on yet. Wide area beacon. And we'll see... What does the wide area beacon require? I should just bring energy catalogs down from space. Everything else we want to do on the ground for productivity bonuses. And we've already got the basic beacons handy, obviously. Yeah, I think I will do that. And maybe that's how I'll deal with bringing stuff. Uh, unless I... Think of something that can only be made in space, it's not just the material that I want to bring back to the ground, but the only things I can think of like that are machines that only work in space. We'll see. Alright, one more trip, and that should all get done. Oh wait, I need to make sure the train gets its wide area beacons. Uh, I think this one's a bit full, so I'll drop this down a bit. Wide area beacon. Unfortunately, the space cargo wagons, for some reason, only work with the robots if the train is on manual. So I'm stuck with only 40 stacks per wagon. Modded it to like a quarter? How do you feel? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, Woot Hoop. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Meanwhile, we're carrying f 100 casting machines. Don't need those very often. Maybe I should just carry more furnaces. Uh, apparently we don't have the white beacons yet. That's odd. No, the train left. Uh. Why do we just keep picking up more oil pump jacks to bring down here? Well, 
We have them now. Uh, let's get our concrete train to finish this. Wait for some inactivity. And while we're at it, add some concrete blocks here as well. might just get you to come down here. Cool, cool, cool. Why are you loading normal power poles on the construction train? We do still need them sometimes, potentially. Um, but we'll phase them out eventually. Did we get our beacons here? Why are you bringing everything but the beacons? You're supposed to be requesting double what the train asks for. With like a wide margin before we bring more... We take stuff back to the mall if it gets oversupplied. Oh no, I think it's... Times negative two... Yeah, double what the train asks for, and then... What we have times one... Minus... What we want times two. And if anything's greater than zero, we get rid of it. So there's a whole extra train load of margin before we would take stuff back. Why is it difficult to get beacons here? We just added pylons this way. Provide stack threshold 1. Is that why? I think it is. I'm not requesting a whole um, stack of beacons. There it goes. I, I barely have more than a stack here. That's why I lowballed it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we finally have some white beacons on our construction train. Let's bring it over yonder. And actually, here should be fine. Wait for inactivity. And that should be more than we need to keep up with our max rate of cryonite. Now we need to buff up our max rate of cryonite. Well, I don't know if we do, actually. Uh, so we're out of... We're basically out of barrel. And therefore can't get... Uh, can't get cargo rocket sections, therefore can't get anything. Did I make this high priority? I think I should. Priority... a hundred? But I'm thinking maybe the barrel is all getting taken to space by vanilla trains, because space elevator, which supersedes the priorities of the LTN stuff, because I don't have a way... Because of the vanilla train mechanics, I don't have a way to have both vanilla and LTN pickups at a station and have the LTN stuff as high a priority.
because if, if I set the train limit as zero, um, it does actually stop the LTN trains from picking up stuff here, even if they are physically present. I don't suppose... No, I'm pretty sure if the train limit was zero and the train was here, it wouldn't actually detect the train, like, stopping at the station. So I don't think I'd be able to get a signal from the logistic train stop output to make that work. Um, I presume our barrel in orbit is not saturated. It is, actually. Barrel ingots should be in one of these trains. Here they are. So, we're not actually about to have the vanilla train come and take it. Not until this runs out. We're not consuming that quickly up in orbit, although... Apparently our research for aeroframe scaffold is not actually... ...progressed? Oh, because I haven't actually researched... Uh, I haven't actually requested... Astro 2 yet. That's fine. We've already got 20. So we're 5% of the way done, basically. Um, but yeah, I don't suppose that little bit of barrel is going to be enough. What I could do is make at least one of these unconditional. So we're basically going to hard prioritize beryllium plate over ingots. As opposed to over here, we've got ingots prioritized over plate. And the plate is going to make its way to uh, produce cargo rocket sections, and everything is going to be just fine. Maybe I should just prioritize the plate, like, on both ends, actually. We've got a lot of ingots to break down right now. This one's almost full for plate as well. Alright, that'll take a minute to get fixed, but it should be fine. We don't even need any more barrel here. We've, we've, that's iridium. Uh, that, those ingots are way, way, way more than enough for a few train loads of beryllium plate, I believe. Stacks to 200, but, uh, 50 makes 500. So one stack is two and a half stacks. So that should be at least one more train load of beryllium plate right there. And we've cranked up the priority for this one by a lot. Wait, 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 what? This one has how many stacks? Quite a lot. Um, why don't I just reduce the provide stack threshold on this as well? Well, that one's empty, regardless. There we go. Now, where are you taking this? Probably to where we will get some more barrel. We got Gibil, Granus, Exorion, Furby, Furby. Uh, I believe it was Exorion that gives us our barrel. Yes. Exorion. Where is it? This one? Exorion... Wait, what? Hold on. Well, that's... That's Granus anyway. For our Vulcanite. 
Uh, this rocket's ready to go, but it's not... How has this been working up to a point? Apparently we're not requesting... Oh, it's liquid rocket fuel for this planet. Holy crap. Uh, what's busted? We've got no crude. Where's our crude coming from? This is actually just empty. No mineable resources. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, this is a waterless world, right? Yes. So we can't exactly use what we did on Verb T, where basically the only material cost, as far as we're concerned, is iron plate. Uh, this could be a problem. Do we have any more barrel planets in the system? Hierarchy view. Actually, uh, sort by Delta V. There's Exorion, and there's the Asteroid Belt. I don't want to do the Asteroid Belt. Uh, there's Achilles, actually. But it's... It's right next door, it's full of biters, and it's got over 9,000 radius. I'm not clearing a planet with 9,000 radius. That, by the look of it, doesn't have a lot of islands or anything. Over 9,000, indeed. Okay, so how do I get fuel over here? Um, I literally don't see any... You're kidding. I think we may have literally tapped all... Okay, there's, there's crude oil here still, so what's happening? I, I think we might have tapped literally all the crude oil on the planet. Uh, entity. There's 107,000 left. Yeah, that's literally it. There is nowhere else uh, on this planet to get crude oil. Hmm. But then the question is, if this has 199k... There's no Combinator here? Bruh. Alright, that'll keep it going for a while. Um, can we put this stuff in the train, please? Also, what's happening? Now this, a wall was destroyed. How rude. Alright, Exorion. Construction train. Combinator. Park it over here. And... We can at least keep this thing going for a little while. So what am I going to have to do? Ship in, like, crude oil barrels? To get our barrel? I actually might have to do that. Are we going to end up with steel that we don't need? With no idea what to do with it? Yeah, I don't think I have any consumers for steel. I might have to just send it back at some point. I wish we could turn plate back into uh, ingots just with the cost of energy. But yeah, I can't think of any other... I mean, unless I were to get crude oil core fragments and send them there by cannon. That's obviously terrible. If I'm sending crude oil barrels 
Uh, it's possible that I'm better off literally just sending liquid rocket fuel as barrels. That, how many barrels would that be for a single launch? Let's just call this 50k. Um, yeah, a, a thousand. Almost a thousand. And they stack to 10, is it? How do I... Uh, I think they all stack the same, regardless of the fluid. Yeah. So, they each contain 50. I would need 100 delivery cannon capsules to get one rocket to launch back. Is changing solid rocket fuel into liquid rocket fuel still a thing? No. With K2, uh, we can only turn... Uh, the only recipes for liquid rocket fuel, unfortunately, uh, let's see, how do I, well, it's solid rocket fuel into liquid rocket fuel, there's only one recipe there, but to make solid rocket fuel we need Huge amounts of fluids and some iron plate um, for each different version of this recipe. Uh, if it wasn't a waterless planet, I could do this. And we could just send iron plate. I mean, we've got a bunch of iron plate there already. I can't take... Hmm... I guess I could send barrels of light oil. If I'm going to send barrels, I may as well... Unless we factor in a productivity bonus for this, but I would have to go over there to put in the prod bonus. Send it from elsewhere? So, JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, name and base? Sure. JMA was, was here too. Anywhere in particular? Solid rocket fuel stacks to 10. Yeah, we could literally just send it as solid rocket fuel, right? Well, let's, let's check. Uh, so this would be 500 liquid rocket fuel for one stack. If we use barrels, ignoring the fact that the steel was, is a headache. Um... Well, this is one barrel, right? So it's the same. It's the same stack size, but we don't have to deal with the steel. Um, I guess I could send rockets? Oh god. I'm seriously consi uh, considering sending a rocket full of solid rocket fuel. How many stacks of solid rocket fuel does it take, with no prod bonus, by the way, uh, to send back this rocket? Let's call it 50k. Um, divided by 50. 1,000 solid rocket fuel divided by stacks of 10. 100 stacks of solid rocket fuel to send back one rocket. That's terrible! That's so bad. But, uh... It's not like we can stop getting barrel at this point. So if I want to keep getting barrel from our infinite supply, I have to pay a tax. Uh, I have to pay some kind of material cost in order to... Well, above and beyond what we're already paying in, like, cargo rocket sections. Uh, I have to pay a material cost to fuel the rockets to bring them back. Maybe I should just use delivery cannons. 
But for 20? 20 core fragments for one... No, they don't scale as well. No matter how you look at it. How about barrels of rocket fuel? I did consider that. It's actually the same as if we send solid rocket fuel, except we have to deal with the steel as well. Delivery cannons aren't free either, exactly. A flying bomb if something goes wrong, indeed. Any planet, it says Andy was here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you want it in the same place where it says Andy was here? JMO was here too. Okay. Fantastic. Let me just mark that off the list. Send Vulcanite blocks and make Pyroflux and then rocket fuel? Vulcanite blocks, Pyroflux... How do we make Pyroflux again? It's... it needs sand. This is getting further and further from my ideal of a minimalist outpost. Even though... Uh, we're obviously gonna have to have more... Oh, this needs to be prodded. Not that it's been much of a problem. But it's about time. Assassin Ra Rajdeep. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What would it take to abandon it? I'm not going to abandon it. It's our... Except for this one, which... We're not ready to go after. Uh, it's our only source of infinite barrel. Uh, I really, really despise having to set up temporary mines over and over again. Also, mining barrel from the asteroid belt. Uh, how much of a hassle would that be at this stage? I can't remember... Let me just check. There's like two resources at least. Two or three. I wish when I do this and go back to the navsat it would come with me. Uh, what do we got? Oh, here it is. Beryl does not need a fluid, at least. It's iridite. Iridite, uh, uranium, and nacritite all require sulfuric acid. Rare metals requires chlorine as well, I forgot about that. But not any of the basic, quote-unquote, exotic resources. So that's one less headache, at least. Uh, this might be an easier bootstrap than... than supplying a planet with rocket fuel to get our barrel. Until we space elevator the whole solar system. There's so many bad patches as well. Uh, finally. 24 mil. Um, so I would have to set up a cargo landing pad, solar panels for power. We need a, we'd need a resupply for delivery can. I don't want to. I don't want to. We we do have copious uh, oil and solid rocket fuel back on Hagen. And speaking of which, I haven't prod moduled this either. Let's do that. 
fuel refinery. Crop three. Uh, like this. And I guess this as well. Why? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I need to redesign that to get proper ratios and stuff, but right now I don't care. Wait for inactivity. I think I am just going to start sending solid rocket fuel. I don't even have to do much to make it happen either. Uh, let's see. What's 500 times 10? 5,000. This is the right planet, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, solid rocket fuel. Five K. Then not fifty K, that's a bit much. Uh and then we're gonna have to deliver solid rocket fuel. Uh where exactly? Right here. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a spaghetti build. How about up here? Do we have any uh Loader? Yes. Yes, we do. Let's put in some bulk real loaders. Uh, more than one, please. Or well, actually, one is probably fine. Because we're going to supply them this way. Oh, I just realized we're going to need to use the... Because we're going to run out of oil, we're going to need to use the salt rocket fuel to fuel the trains as well. Well, I guess that's fine. It'll take a while to run out anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's get our construction train to park over here. Wait for lots of inactivity, because I might have to think about something. Remove some rail here. Drop in a loader. Connect to LTN. Make a requester station. Do we have some belts? Uh, I should have thought of that. Belt. I don't have any undergrounds. I think we're literally down to our last underground unless I go and scavenge from some of our old mines. Or something. Uh, could you just wait here indefinitely for a sec? Underground just needs fast underground and express belt. Oh, we do have the underneath these. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna go with... Well, like so. I hope we're not out of loaders as well. Oh, this is in range. Well, that's convenient. I don't suppose... Yeah, the whole thing's in range. Nice. I just hope we haven't run out of under uh, express loaders. We have. Uh, we've got a red one. Why don't we? Why don't we use that? So here we're just going to request um, solid rocket fuel. Sure. 
Short trains or long trains can drop it off. I do not care. Except that we don't want it picked up from here. So we're going to go... Coded network ID 1 and coded network ID 2. So LTN won't schedule between those two. And that should be it. And then... Doesn't look like we already got some solid fuel delivered. There should be a bunch of solid fuel being requested to be put in here. Uh, and we need to request it over here. Solid rocket fuel. Short or long not done. It's just longs at the moment. What? Aiden, Aidendal, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spaceship is best option. Yeah, we don't have those yet. I've got one spaceship and it's already tied up getting us copper core fragments. Uh, because we have... Hold on, let me calculate this. Uh, make that just a couple of train loads. After the initial rush... I might have to force a delivery for this. No, I did request 500 stacks of solid rocket fuel, so it will fill up and it will auto-send to Exorion. And then the solid rocket fuel will end up in the mall. Uh, the mall will automatically offer stuff to LTN. We'll get ahead of this so that we don't end up running out of fuel. I'll be changing that request when we run out of solid. Okay, let's have a look. That is filling up relatively quickly, as expected. Just bottlenecked on the stack inserters, really. One stack per swing. Exorion solid rocket fuel request station only allows length of... allows length fours. Oh, let me have a look. Uh, yeah, it'll have to be short trains allowed, yeah. This second bulk rail unloader was totally unnecessary, but I don't care. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm surprised how quickly we literally run uh, ran out of oil on this planet. Maybe I should do some coal liquefaction. No, we're just going to run out of coal. There's not even that much. There's like a few million. It'll be gone before we know it. Okay. Just want to see this system work before we look away. Which means waiting for this rocket to fill up. Which is almost done.
Question about minimax train length in case of a LCCL, is it 3 or 4? That would be 4. It includes the locomotives. Uh, this is way faster than we need overall, but right now it's just just a little bit slow to watch. Okay, thanks, no worries. Almost there. Almost there. Ten more stacks. I wonder why there's little gaps in... Oh. Wait, no? What? Never mind. It's launching. That's the main thing. And we are getting... Uh, we are getting our cargo rocket sections as well. Alright, back to Exorion. The rocket didn't crash. That's very strange. Uh, and the solid rocket fuel is immediately getting requested. Fantastic. I might want to bump up the um, number here though. Oh, too late. The next delivery will be a lot bigger. <laughs> so we got a request stack threshold of this has to be empty, um, but the provide threshold here is only one stack because that's just our standard thing we do if the mall is offering to other places. But I can't think of anywhere on this planet where we would need that, actually. Do we not have a train picking this stuff up? We don't. Uh-oh. Locomotive. We don't have a spare. Uh, maybe it would just be easier to belt this back into the... It's already in the robot network. Let's just... Let's just add an active provider if we've got one. We do not. Can we make an active provider? We definitely have assembly machines. Hurry up and place them. There we go. One active provider, s'il vous plaît. Unless we don't have a requester chest, which we do. Fantastic. Uh, what about an inserter? Okay, we've got plenty of those. Beautiful. Alright, active provider goes here. And it's as simple as that. Don't need a train for this. That's because of the big robot network that we have to have. Because cargo rockets. Um, this is a loader, not an unloader. That is a point. There we go. Only been three launches to bring ice here so far. Very, very stack efficient ice is. Yeah, there we go. We're bringing 400 solid rocket fuel at once now. Cool, cool, cool. That is saturated. Uh, and that is not... It's going to be a bit slow. If we're only using two of these machines. Uh, one of these machines, rather. 50 solid rocket fuel per second is a thousand seconds per launch. Uh, a little bit less than that. 
I think that's a bit too slow for my liking. Um, so could we perhaps... Well, I can probably just make this into a loop, honestly. It'd be the easiest and quickest fix. This will probably need an upgrade in that case. Do we only have, like, two construction bots? We have four. Uh, I'm sure it's enough in the long run, but that is... Um, that's an interesting choice. Nervous again. Same spot again. No problem. There we go. One more. There we go. Alright. So that's like 300 to 320 ish seconds for a rocket launch. I think that's probably fine. And we just launched one. Nice. Or did we? No, we must have if this is filling up again. There's our barrel. Alright then. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So make the solid loop, indeed. If you're shipping ice, can you use the electrolysis machines to create the rocket fuel? That's an interesting thought. Well, hold on. The way we did it on Verb T was... Indeed, electrolysis. But we need... Well, yeah, this this will work on a waterless planet, getting the oxygen. Yeah, we could... Uh... I might do that. Next time. Or in the near future. Do a big ol' electrolysis build and just send ice. How fast does this consume water? And are we using prods this time? We are. Uh, all of our ratios are fairly close, so let's pretend we're just consuming all this water. 540 or maybe 530, 520 per second. Um, which is how many ice? It's like... One ice makes a hundred, right? If I recall correctly. Yeah, one one ice, one hundred water, so like five and a bit ice per second. Which apparently we're going through here at almost the same pace just to just to process crude oil. It actually might make a whole lot more sense, even if there is crude oil on a waterless planet, um, to just send ice and do electrolysis. Uh, and what is this called? Ammonia. To get our solid rocket fuel. How much ice per 50 rocket fuel? It would be, let's see, well, we need a thousand, oxygen's not a problem, it's just ammonia, hydrogen, this can't be product, can it? It can, actually. Oh. Oh, well. Let's pretend it's not to keep the calculations simple for the moment. Um... We need 50 ammonia, uh, 50 hydrogen, one hydrogen per ammonia. Uh, nitrogen is free. Yes. Um, 
So 60 water makes 40 hydrogen. That's at a rate of two thirds. Two thirds of our water becomes hydrogen. One to one hydrogen becomes ammonia. A thousand ammonia makes one solid rocket fuel. Ignoring productivity bonuses. So we need uh, 1,666 ish water for one solid rocket fuel. So probably around 14, 15 ice for one solid rocket fuel. So I think and ice stacks to 200, doesn't it? Yeah, so we're getting more than a stack of solid rocket fuel for each stack of ice. Like maybe a stack and a half or so. Wait, not a stack and a half, but more than one stack, definitely. Uh, and one solid rocket fuel makes 50 liquid rocket fuel, ignoring prod bonuses. So like... Where am I looking? So let's say... Let's estimate roughly... Uh, one stack of ice makes 1.5 stacks of solid rocket fuel. That would be 15 times 50, and then the prod bones. Um, we're probably looking at like a thousand or more liquid rocket fuel for one stack of ice. So like 50 stacks of ice or less for one rocket launch. That's, uh, that's a lot better than the solid rocket fuel, that's for sure. In terms of the cost of sending rockets to support it. 750 ice to make 50 rocket fuel. Oh, hi, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Better than being taxed? Well, we're still being taxed. It's just in a different way, and it would be more efficient. Uh, should I try to clear Nalvis with this tech? Or probably not. What should I do on Nalvis before I leave this time? I got all of this stuff working again. Um, I kind of want to... I did make a new block for storage. I kind of want to throw that down here. And this is probably the best place to test it because... We're literally just running off of core mining for the most part on this planet uh, and sending some excess stuff to Hagen. Three to two hydrogen and 1001 solid fuel and one to 100 ice water and three places for productivity, indeed. What are we working on? Uh, we're working on... Well, we just fixed our uh, barrel throughput from this tiny little planet that has no water, where we literally have run out of uh, crude oil, or we effectively have, because the only reason we've got this crude oil remaining, uh, which I still can't mouse over, it's 107... no, it's already down to 98,000. <laughs> Uh, the only reason this was still here is because I had a ghost of a constant combinator here for LTN previously. Um, we've literally consumed almost all of the rude oil on this waterless planet. Uh, and we were no longer able to make liquid rocket fuel to send the barrel back. Uh, and we were just discussing why not... We're already having to send ice to do any kind of oil products, uh, obviously, but why not send ice and do an electrolysis build to make ammonia 
to make ammonia based uh, rocket fuel. I put together a little stopgap where we're just sending solid rocket fuel to that planet. Um, in the same cargo rocket that's already supplying it. But I'll definitely sort that out in the relatively near future. We've also thrown together some spaghetti for Astro 2, just so I can get superior inserters, because I really, I really want long filter inserters for some of our builds that we're going to have to do to get, uh, to get the various sciences in the rail block. I think there were... There was a build or two here somewhere already where I wished I had long filter inserters. But I can't remember where they are. This is probably it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This right here. We definitely don't need two output belts for this build. The only reason we have this double belt here is because we don't have long filters. Anyway, I think I'd like to, well, before I forget, I do want to try this new storage block I built. Where is it? Storage block mark two. Uh, how many pylons do I have left? Quite a few. Why do I only have a few construction bots? Did they die protecting the tank? That's probably why. I should set up a construction train on this planet as well so that I can fix things remotely. Fascinated Lurker, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's a little hard to see with all this grass and stuff. And Ben B, thank you for the follow also. Construct additional pylons, indeed. I was about to summon the construction train and then I realized there isn't one. Also, I meant to build this up here. It's fine, it's still really close to the four fragment build. That's the main thing. Oh, I should put some prod modules here while I'm at it. I've got 177 left. This is four times 620. Yeah, we can do that. Assuming we have the power to support it. Which we kind of don't, I'm just remembering. Um, I should have some steel beams. I do not. I have to break down steel plate. Maybe I should just fly back and get some more rail. Uh, but yeah, this is obviously a much, much cleaner iteration. Compared to the old uh, storage block up here. It doesn't fit as much. Um, so the idea with this storage block was we could have two resources per quarter. Just one drop off between the two of them. Uh, one solid, one fluid, one solid, one fluid. And then we're going to have... Uh, brushes to remove anything excess uh, in the middle and use up all the space pretty much but I don't like it for a number of reasons um, the number one reason is even though I built this whenever I come back and look at it if something's wrong uh, figuring out what's going on with this is actually a little bit of a challenge um, as you can see we've got like overlapping train stations facing opposite directions. We've got a green wire shared between all three of these LTN stops, and we've got some uh, some tricky circuitry to make them not get confused, basically. Um, what I think is a little bit better is this. I, I think this is a tad easy to follow. So basically we've got a LTN stop to drop off resources 
uh, less than normal priority. Encoded network ID 2, so we're never going to drop off finite resources here. It's only going to be something that came uh, directly from core fragments. Or directly or indirectly from core fragments. Uh, and then we can obviously easily fit a fluid as well as a solid for each quarter of the block. We're going to drop stuff off here. It's going to flow into this station. This is going to be a vanilla train stop. Uh, it doesn't have to be a vanilla train stop. A logistic train stop will work, but if I'm only going to use vanilla scheduled trains to pick up from here, then I just like to use a vanilla train stop. Uh, it's just kind of a visual shorthand. Uh, I also need a lamp. I don't have a lamp. I don't have glass. Give me some glass. That's sand. Do we not have glass in this rail network? I guess not. I would have thought we did. Uh, anyway, I have a little setup here where it, we have a light that acts just like the LTN lamp. Let me go grab some more resources, and I'd better come back here eventually. Finish this build properly. My bots will stop jumping out. Back to the bus. Uh, but yeah, basically, resources flow from here to here to here. Um, we're pushing to the front on the last one so that we can have short or long trains pick up whatever resource this is. Uh, we've obviously got fluid uh, drop-off and pick-up. If the fluid drop-off is ever completely full, we're going to vent... Uh, whatever fluid this is. Um, that's pretty straightforward, but we're always going to be trying to pump it straight down here. Um, but yeah. So we have... Oh, I remember now. So the vanilla pickup stations here are basically... If this gets full enough... Uh, and it does have to be pretty damn full, like literally full actually, these two uh, bulk rail loaders. Uh, then we're going to have a vanilla train pick up from here, and it's going to take it to a centralized brushing area. Um, and that way we're not going to have a bunch of... We're going to have more than enough throughput to deal with like the spare cryonite powder, for example. But we're not going to have crushes or recycling machines or whatever sitting idle resources that never actually get dropped off here because, at least for now, we're not oversupplying those with core fragments. Uh, I'm going to need some more rail, obviously. I think it's down here would be easy to pick it up. Grab some signals as well. And get this out of my inventory. Away we go. I need to get some crushes as well. I don't think we're going to need these speed modules in the crushes at beacons on this planet. Don't give me spicy rocks. 
I can't pick it up because the bots keep jumping in front of me. Fantastic. Is our ammo working? It is. Beautiful. Is that everything built? Not quite. I forgot to get lamps or glass. I also need a few flare stacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight. I mean, they're probably never going to be necessary, but let's just build them anyway. And I should, if I really want resources like iron um, to be turned into landfill before we start wasting it, um, I should be able to... Well, there's a couple of ways I could think of to have a priority that is between these two. I could either have, like, a negative 2 request priority, or negative 1 would be the same, actually. No, neg negative 2 request priority, drop off iron ore, for example, or all of those ores for that matter. We could even use a crafting combinator, and, like, only one or a couple of machines. How fast is this? 50 per second. That's without any speed buffs. I don't think we're ever going to need to be able to delete much more than a few stacks per second of excess iron, copper, or whatever that comes out of the ore fragments. Um, but yeah, we, there's a couple of ways we could do a station somewhere. I tried to build it into this, but I didn't like the way it looked or anything. Um, we can have a build that will make landfill out of excess ores before it comes to the trash here. And that would be difficult. But I don't really need to do it on this planet. Uh, we need a couple more vanilla train stops. Or the trash drop-off. Uh, and I guess I need a vanilla train in this system now. We've got room over here for it. That won't be a problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got room. Yeah, we've got a couple more. I might actually have exactly as many trains as depot stops on this planet, actually. So maybe I'll just convert one of the LTN trains. Oh wait, no. It's when the trains come back to the LTN depots that they might get given a schedule by LTN, right? And it'll clear their schedule. So I need to change one of these train stops. That's probably fine. Um, Alright, so we need crushes. I don't think we need 48 crushes on this planet. Let's just get like 8, I guess. Can I handcraft 8? Uh, not even close. Okay. Okay. 
Let me just go get some crushes. Actually, before I, before I do, let's do this. Grab one of these trains. Make this no longer an LTN station, effectively. Change the name. Actually, turn this guy's schedule off. Change the name to... Uh, Depo Vanilla. For a double length train. Why can't I... I think I remember this happening before. And I was able to add the stop this way, weirdly enough. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to schedule you to... To do what? Come to think of it... Um, maybe I should have all of these stations have the same name, and then I wouldn't have to have multiple, like, one vanilla train for each resource for this purpose. Merry Christmas, RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Merry Christmas to you as well. Annie Goliath, welcome, welcome also. Good morning. Yeah, I don't think... We're never going to take, like, iron ore up the space elevator. So this should probably just have the same station name each time. We, should, we could just do that. Let me go get some lamps. And crushes. Do we have any lamps laying around in here? Probably. Oh, I know where we find lamps. Uh, where am I making... the power poles? Here we go. Give me those lamps. Uh, and crushes. Do we have those just lying around somewhere? We do not. It seems. That makes sense. I don't make them very often. Let's just handcraft. Prussia... One? I guess the bots aren't bringing me any more. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Is this belt pair of belts fast enough? Uh, I guess we'll see. Aeroframe scaffold has been stuck on twenty nine percent for a while, I think. Do we not have repair packs? Am I not requesting repair packs? I am. Oh, we do have them. Okie dokie. What's your deal? Uh, I don't think we need the speed modules, actually. Alright. So, let's do iron ore here. And what fluid... 
that we want. Uh, there's really only... well, there's four, actually. Water doesn't really count. We're venting it here anyway, if we have to. So we've got iron, copper, stone, coal... I'm gonna need two blocks for this. Let's do the basics first. Iron ore, and how about pyroflux? What's the slowest one? Pyroflux. And then mineral water, I guess. Iron ore and pyroflux. Can be at this one. Iron or Pyroflux. And we don't need to change anything else down here. Um, that should be fine. This is for stack size 50. And this is set to anything, so it's generic. Uh, and then we just go 20k Iron Ore. And Pyroflux, I don't know. We can do up to 250k here. We'll just request as much as we could fit. Hold on. 50 times 5, 250k. Did I miscalculate? That should probably be like anything greater than 225k or something. Unless it's also reading from the other containers, which it's not. Um, I'm pretty sure the capacity of these is 50k. It is. So I need to update this blueprint. Um, this should be something like 240k. If we get more than that, we start venting. Uh, I guess there doesn't happen to be that much iron ore available right now. Yeah. Let's turn off all these combinators. Actually, just, just blank them. Copy, paste. Defunct this whole place. Although there is something a little bit unique compared to the blueprint for this area because we're dealing with uranium processing here because it's so slow. Mm, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll put that back. No, no I want to get rid of this eyesore. Oh, and I could have taken the crushes from up there as well. Alright, cool. Uh, so our vanilla train schedule should look like this. Hold on. Train, stop. Stop? There we go. That's not helping. Um, what would be a better way to search this? I could just physically click on this. Go to here, wait for full cargo. And then go to here, wait for empty cargo. And... Our logic here is train limit is zero until this is full. So stack size 50, that would have to be 32k. We output the yellow signal when we want our train to be coming. Here we've got a memory cell because 
if this is completely full and then we summon a train and then a little bit of it... Is this backward? What the hell? How dare you? How did this happen? Oh. No, it's correct. I'm... I'm in the southern area. But, okay. 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 Alright, so... Uh, if this is full and we summon a uh, vanilla train and then we, like... Pick up a little bit more of it with one more train down here. I don't want the vanilla train to just stop dead in its tracks. So we've got a memory cell that will keep the train limit at one uh, until until the train has arrived, actually. And then it'll go blue. Uh, and we can we can have the light go blue or yellow, even if we're receiving both signals, because blue comes before yellow here. Um, we're not going to see a test of this unless and until this actually overflows. I think I will put prod modules in here and we'll just... We'll do what we need to for the power. Because obviously we want our core fragments to go further. Do I have any basic beacons? I do. They're not a great fit, though. How many megawatts are we at here, actually? Let's see, this is 2.1 megawatt times 10 if they're all active. So like 20 megawatts. I would save electricity when it's active with a wide area beacon. But... If it's still not going to be active most of the time, then it doesn't really matter. Then again, I think we just spam basic beacons, uh, except they're just one tile off, covering four of these. I don't like it. Just get more power. Why not? Actually, how fast is this? Uh, eight core fragments per second. This thing can do 11 by itself. That's not the only one. That's 22. We're not going to be running them 24-7, but still, that's way more than this can keep up with. Power is our bottleneck either way. What if I use mini beacons? Do I even have those? I do not. I did have a peek at compact beacons. I could research them right now. They'd take a little while, though. And I couldn't make them while I'm here. But suffice to say, they can provide all the benefits of a wide area beacon for less power, but obviously on fewer machines. Less power and fewer modules, for that matter, because they actually have 75% uh, transmission efficiency. Um, what was I about to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to check why this is stuck. There's no Astro 2. There's no... There's no output for the thermofluid. That's not a good reason. Are you going to stream ro Rocketo? Oh, tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow's Christmas Day for me, so I'm going to be visiting some friends and family. Uh, but the day after, which will be Christmas for a lot of people, I will be streaming, I think. 
Jacobaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this broken? It is. How did we end up with stone in here? Oh. That's why I had these, because that happened a while ago, but I never fixed that one. Get out of here, stone. And are you working? Yes, you are. Fantastic. There we go. Alright. Maybe prod modules just don't make any sense right now. Considering... I mean, we're powered bottlenecked for core fragments no matter how we look at it. I should just get more power. Always more power. I'll go build that myself if I have to. Okay. Let's configure the other overflow stations. I could do this remotely though, so it's not that big of a big of a deal. So this is gonna be copper. This is gonna be uh what was it? Mineral water. Copper and mineral water. More? Always more. And then this will be stone and uh, crude oil, I think. Copper and mineral water. Stone plus crude. Stone plus crude. I might copy paste these settings for the first block like this that I do on Hagen. Oh, we do have a delivery. Really? Where is it coming from? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, this is supposed to be... I remember this. This is supposed to be encoded network ID 1, because it's a finite resource. Well, if we're only getting a couple of train loads delivered here, then it should get picked up by LTN again. So I don't even have to do anything to fix this. And we'll just double check the math here. Uh, 50 times 320 times 2 is 32k. That's how much it takes for the vanilla train to take this stuff. And we don't need a vanilla train to pick up fluids to get rid of them. We can just vent them right here. It's only because of how space-consuming the crushes are, how slow they are, uh, that we need vanilla trains to take this stuff away. Uh, so what else is there? We've done iron, copper, stone, uh, uh, pyroflux, mineral water, and crude. We're not doing water, we're just venting it on the spot. And that just leaves rare metals, uranium, and coal. Let's do coal here. Also, there's no more fluids, I think. Cool. Uh, this one's going to be coal. I suppose, technically, it might be possible to combine solid resources on this. No. We don't have any smart loaders here. The bulk rail would just load whatever. Coal. 
coal. And 20k coal. Fantastic. To do list handle from cores, rare metals, uranium, coal. Yes. Uh, just rare metals and uranium. So I need another half block of this. Which I should be able to do just like so. Could I get a version of this that doesn't have the rails sticking out so much? Apparently not. Um, let's turn off my robots for a second. And... Uh, cancel most of this. Close enough. We don't have any of those magic trees here that the bots won't deconstruct. Don't think so. Alright, so... I don't need any more flare stacks, because we don't actually need fluids here. Unless and until... Well, no, I'm just not going to need any more fluid storage. I'm never going to use this to store excess fluids from finite resources. That's not a thing. Oh, let's turn that off. So this will be rare metals, raw rare metals. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, and metals. Why are you like this? What? How does double clicking on that spot make this happen? I guess I'm. Uh, I think I see what happened there. That should be fine. Don't need the fluid stuff. And I need some vanilla train stops. Uh, and the last one was uranium. But... Well, I guess I could just put the uranium here and also process it. I don't actually have a uranium processing area just yet, so... How was I doing it before? There's our uranium. I don't think we ever had a train pick this stuff up, actually. We just didn't go through that much uranium yet. And come to think of it... Oh yeah, this is where we were getting rid of uranium. Theoretically. I don't think we've done a single... Oh, we have done 160 stacks of 238. Two train loads of 238 has been sent to Hagen. That's not nothing. Alright, cool. Do I have any uh, centrifuges on me? I don't think so. I should just do a little water block here to deal with it. My question is, how much uranium will it even produce in a full week? <laughs> not much, but... More to the point, it won't eventually clog up the machine. Why are we flaming our own stuff? Oh. Because the walls are broken. Uh, that's a bit spooky. I should probably get up there eventually. Um, alright, fine. Dude. Wait, no. 
to do uranium processing. Uh, and I will just set it up to request uranium here in the meantime. Uranium ore, no fluid. We're short one express loader. I don't think we desperately need that many express loaders here. Not in this instance. Uranium. uranium. How nice of you to pin it to do. <laughs> okay. Um, I need some, some more stone walls would be good. Let's go grab that. And some more solar panels over here. Th thank you. Ooh, we're researching superior inserters. I didn't even notice the dupa doop. Uh, give me some accumulators. I think they're over here. I'm surprised I remember this old base that well. need to hurry up and get to spaceships so I can, uh, I was going to say refactor, but what I really mean is demolish all of this mess and be left with something much tidier. Okay. That, look how much neater this even on the map. Look how much neater this storage block is. Much better. Alright, I need some walls. Um, are they in here? Yes, they are. That's a lot. That's probably all I need to grab right this second. And let's go shore up our defenses. Greens today has been against him? What? What is this, a golf story? What's going on? Um, we're not really using the gun turrets anymore. Let's pick that up. And more laser. The spot that they keep attacking. Let's clear out a couple more biter nests as well. Oh, the pollution cloud is tickling them, that's why. Um. Um. That's concerning. Okay, that's even worse than I expected. Uh, not that was not my plan, but that'll work, I guess. Okay, more laser. Actually, don't I have belt that I just picked up? Apparently not. Whatever. Guns aren't doing anything with this ammo. Not at this stage.
Let's go pay him a visit. Put on the power armor. I don't have any jetpack with it though. Why don't I have fuel in this thing? What? What? Okay, I've got like... Bit of shield... Bots? What have I been doing here? I don't think I do want to take the tank. It doesn't seem all that good, to be honest. If I do tank the tank, this makes sense. Shields and bots, indeed. Tank is too slow though. I want jetpacks. Why am I holding core fragments? Right, and can I turn off this debug thing? Because it's actually a bit much right now. Show... Enemy expansion candidate chunks. There we go. The enemy doesn't actually expand with our game settings. We were just using it to try to find them. Uh, I should probably borrow some lasers from the tank though. You know what? Second thought, let's use the tank. Do I have some fuel? Oh god, oh no. Uh, I need processed fuel for the stupid tank. You're taking damage from that? You have shields. Are you serious? That spit is so broken. Uh, just... Just get in my inventory. Now the shields are catching up? Oh, because the, the spit was like dying out. I really hate the vanilla spit. I need to be extra careful that I don't hit a twig with the rocket launcher. Like that. Okay, that's not working out. Um, yeah. Give me a laser, even though it's not going to be terribly energy efficient. That is... That's accomplishing almost nothing. 27,000 hit points on this guy. Damn. I'm about to run out of rocket fuel at this rate. And he does explosive damage when he hits something. Uh, do we have destroyer capsules? We do. I think I'll be using those. And very, very carefully using the rocket launcher. That's a bit more like it. It's almost a mini nuke. But not quite. It does sometimes one shot a spawner. Let's just use the zappy zap. I can't be that slow, they just keep spawning at ridiculous rates. I didn't bring much ammo for this thing, unfortunately.
It's just so much safer and easier to use. One thing I wish SE has a rocket for transporting liquids. Oh yeah, for sure. That's kind of a gap in the logistics for a long time. Low on ammo. Lost a few bots as well. Oh, that was nasty. We're almost done though, maybe I can manage without respawning some. Fantastic. Okay, how's our pollution cloud? Touching this lot to the left. What if other liquids could be iced? I don't think so. There's methane ice, that's about it. I never had to touch methane ice last playthrough. How much fuel do I have left? Five? Uh, good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. Hey, MyClap. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No smile drivers. I do have pile drivers, but our throughput uh, for materials stopped for a little while. Back on Hagen. Let's have a look. Barrel's looking good again. Fantastic. Why is this one... Weirdly enough, it looks like I really do need to rebalance. Wait, it's actually the... Oh. Well, if this part's saturated, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that seems fine. Barrel... Barrels looking up, to say the least. That copper ca that's copper cable actually. Why is that included when I search for barrel? Let's just look at ingots, that's a pretty good indicator. Yeah, I think it's working. Someone could make a tiny mod that adds frozen crude oil and stuff with the same recipes as the ice. Uh they probably could, yeah. Oh no, is that Iridite Core Frags? Uh, yes. I mean, Iridite Core... F uh, Iridite is here. It's looking a bit slow, actually. Because... Because Core Fragments, perhaps? It's Liquid Rocket Fuel. No, it, no it's... Or is it? I think it is liquid rocket fuel. We haven't run out of crude oil on this planet as well, have we? My patience with the finite oil is beginning to grow thin. There's no electricity here. Uh, what? How? Are you telling me you guys missed exactly one media? I don't see any medias here. Any rocks. How did this break? 
And what am I going to do about it? Do I have a spare power pole lying around somewhere? Um, do we have a construction train all to the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we trying to load here? We don't have any big power poles. Uh, that's a little bit of a headache. How about, how about we pick this one up? Get in that train. And then... Come down here. I don't think that's the actual problem, though. We've got crude oil. We've got water. Uh, we've got plenty of oil. So... We've got plenty of liquid rocket fuel. What's... What? Don't tell me the trains are busted. The trains are not busted. I mean, they're fueled. They have they have path. They are parked at LTN stop. LTN stop has the signals to say this is a depot. Um, 199k liquid rocket fuel, 50k provide threshold, fluid wagons, oh the one fluid wagon was stuck over here because the power pole was broken, we've probably only got one or two fluid wagons, well there's your problem. And now it's picking up crude oil instead of going to get the liquid rocket fuel. Do we have any more wagons? On this planet? We have three fluid wagons. And we don't have any locomotives. Um, okay, can we make some locomotives? Probably. Almost definitely. Aziz! As is light. A podcast about engineering disasters with slides, indeed. Locomotive. We've got everything we need for this. Well then. I, I have no idea how this power pole got destroyed. Wait, if it's in the robot network and a media did hit it, uh, that would mean... Yeah, 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 look at this. This is damaged just outside of it. So if it got destroyed, the bots would have picked up uh, the media. That's why. Well, this this makes me all the, all the more motivated to do a, a like a warning system for maybe not every resource, but all of our base resources. Like, if we stop receiving core fragments of any type, I would like to know. But I've been thinking about how to actually. Um, this is this is looking a bit slow. how to actually, you know, obviously I could put a notification speaker on uh, one of these landing pads, for example, whereby if there's no Vulcanite core fragments, um, then we get a not notification. Uh, we'd obviously want to build a timer into it, because we don't want to hear every time that this is empty for like 10 seconds. But then we're looking at, at the very least, a timer for every separate resource. I could either limit it to core fragments or something. 
or I'd have to come up with something more efficient if we're going to have notifications for, like, everything in the rail network, which I'd kind of like. Make it a lot easier to find if something's broken or missing. But if we have to put some kind of timer or latch on something on every single one of these, it's going to start to add up with the, uh, the UPS. So I'm not sure yet. Okay, um... Did we just launch... Uh, did we just launch Claw Fragments, or...? We've got so much liquid rocket fuel here. And we're finally getting a delivery. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. Every single episode will be about the bridge. All right, you're taking it to the wrong... Uh, why are you like this? Why wouldn't you prioritize the one that's empty if they have equal priority? All right, then. That's how Erudite fixed, I believe. What's next? What is next? Oh, I should put some tags here. Iron... Actually, make it like... Iron and... Pyroflux? Popper... And uh, mineral water. What's this one? Stone. Oh, you did get stuck. Just go. What did I set this to? Provide stack threshold 120. Oh. Wait, what? Uh, that was supposed to be limited to 40 stacks on that side. Well, just get going, I guess. Actually, am I standing close to this? Let's fix it. Here we go. This way, please. Actually, why don't I just use even distro? There we go. Now it'll sort itself out. Beautiful. Fantastic. Where's our erudite core fragments? There they go. Alright. I think I'd like to take a break from this Dalvis nonsense and do some space science blocks. Let's jump into the editor. And our space block specifically. Uh, and we need to do... Vinart, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What have we got so far in the space rail blocks? I think it's just uh, everything necessary for Astro 2. Subatomic and Force Field haven't gotten anything yet. Why not? Oh, crap. Because I forgot to connect one wire and LTN oversupplied 
negative 273 degree thermofluid. Um, at least it doesn't look like we have several trains trying to bring extra thermofluid. We're only asking for 100k, this is 60k per delivery. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, what's the best way to deal with this? Is there anywhere else that needs super cool? Yes, there is. Cool, cool, cool. So on the left of the force field build. Please go here and empty. Fantastic. And there's our blanks for atomic data, which we've already made several thousand of. Nice. And there's our blanks for subatomic. Cool. So I'm pretty sure we will shortly have... what is this? Uh, apparently I need to do a junk data card processing build already. I'm pretty sure we've already got quantum data over here. We do. But still. Alright, well, in lieu of having to figure out where I'm going to put like which science I'm going to work on next. Let's do junk data card processing. Junk data cards get turned back into blanks, right? I'd kind of like to put them close to each other. Then again, I should probably put the junk data card processing somewhere close to where we make a lot of junk data cards. Junk data card... We could just destroy them, but no, we're not going to do that. Um, so they go into various recipes in supercomputers with different temperatures of thermofluid for input. So I can't really do a build which we can cleanly upgrade. Negative 10, negative 100, negative 273, and then negative 273 again. We're also going to have to deal with the broken data cards, which we're going to get the most of at first, which means we're not going to be able to put it off that long. Alright, I guess I'll just do one build after another. I won't even worry about an upgrade path for this one. Just see what you have access to technology-wise. I think we can maybe do computer tier 2. Let's check. Oh, we've only got supercomputer right now. Uh, super, super computer 2 is energy 3, so that's going to be a minute. What the... Nope. Alright, so... Should probably grab one of these builds is going to have the computers laid out in exactly the layout that we already need. about that. Whoops. And how many inputs do we have? Just the one? How fast is this? Pretty sure that's exactly tuned for negative 80%. Yes, it is. 
29, almost 30 blank uh, junk data cards per second. How much can our whole space thing produce at the moment with junk data cards? This is maybe a bit overkill to calculate this much already, but it won't take long. Only 7.5 per second. I think we'll be fine for a little while with this build. Uh, and we obviously don't need the multiple belts coming in. Get out of here, long arms. I don't really need to mess with these pipes too much. Uh, let's not forget our input. So it's just one solid, one fluid. That's very, very easy. How fast do we go through the fluid? Pretty damn slowly. I think we'll just do the standard. Slightly slow drop off here. Except we can do threes, which will make it significantly quicker, actually. And then output. Oh, we need two outputs, don't we? If we're going to use bulk loaders, which we will. May as well do a double. Alright, so this will be blank. This will actually be active pickup because we want to take from the recycled stuff before we make new stuff. Uh, and we're going to want the 25 degree thermofluid on whichever side gets picked up from less often. So that's going to be the broken data cards. Broken data goes only into scrap? Um, probably. Uh, broken. Yeah, it makes scrap. Okay, how fast? 8.66 per second. Where is it? Broken data card scrapping. This is one per second. I don't think I can fit it elegantly under the beacon. I don't care if this one machine consumes a bit more power, if it could keep up. Uh, not even close. Not even remotely close. I'll just have a build for this somewhere. Because we're going to change this build eventually. The ratios will change. Not even close, damn, yeah. Looks really messy. And 
It's going to be pretty slow, right? Less than half a stack per second. Or still less than half a stack per second for the entire block. So we'll do it this way. We can fill that precisely. So this will be blank. Fast are these individually? Like three per second? Oh no, it's like less than two per second. Let's get rid of this mess. Actually, could I make this reach? I can't. Wait, yes I can. That'd be the cleanest way to do it. So just to double check, we're looking at like 29, 30 items per second. Easy peasy. Two, four, six, eight. Fantastic. And we're obviously going to need to filter. And I do want this on both sides. I can actually flip this one, that's nice. May as well do separate input. Then again, yeah, whatever, it's going to be easier that way. Neater as well. Okay. Those inserters are off by one. One is closer to the machine, how can allow this? How dare you, Johan Anderson. Did I see you earlier today? Don't think so. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Um, let's just connect this here. And I don't know how I want to connect this one up. This part's fairly obvious. Seven tiles. Maybe it would be neatest if I... Right, let's do it like this. Makes it clear where the fluids are going anyway. Eleven tiles. There's no neat way to do that. No. Yes, that'll have to do. Let's check that the fluid gets everywhere we think it does. That doesn't work. What temperature is this? Negative 10. Negative 10. Seems good. 
Fantastic. And output. Obviously, we're going to want to find its way down here. Uh, overall rate is going to be pretty slow. 60 per second. No worries there. And I think I'll connect it up this way. Well, that's good. That's relatively tidy. Cool, cool, cool. And then we just need the actual uh, junk data card inputs. Seems good. Let's get some test input. We won't request enough junk data cards for it to matter if they end up slightly imbalanced. That's not what I meant to do. Request threshold for the fluid is 60k and we'll want uh, to ask for like 100k at negative 10 junk data Uh, NK, two train loads, should be more than sufficient, and it's not enough for the imbalance to matter if things get weird. Jump data card, requester, goes into computer. Out comes blank and broken. And don't forget the thermo fluid. Actually, let me just copy this over here. Oh, don't forget to connect this wire. Then uh, I need to decide how these belts are going to be shaped. So I think I'd like to just push the junk here. We'll limit the front to 50 stacks and set the provide stack threshold to like 120. So that the amount that's pushed through here while the train picks it up won't matter. Long trains only? I mean, we could do short trains, but I don't see it mattering, uh, and I would want long trains to pick this up to limit the number of trips anyway. I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure the whole block together is considerably more than one belt. That said... No, I was thinking of merging this over this way, but I don't think that's going to look that good. Let's just put this here. And light data card can come out this way. And the rest. Uh, I could actually just do it slightly 
backward from what we usually do. Whereby... We'll limit the back to one train, uh, to one cargo wagon, and let the front one fill up. Oh, but we're getting more than one belt of blanks, right? No, we're not. So once this catches up, it should actually flow normally. Mixed stations? You mean this? No. It's just uh, one solid, one fluid. Speaking of which... Alright, so this is going to be broken. And 25 degree thermofluid. Fantastic. And this one is just blank. Yes, that one. What's wrong with it? We are starting to see gaps in the blank data cards. Which we should expect and want to see. It was mixed, but you fixed it. Okay, but this is in the editor, so it doesn't matter if there's a couple of blanks in here. Far left bulk loader has a broken card in it. True. Uh, and we'll need some signals. Break this up. That's what he was on about? Yeah. Maybe. Alright. Let's get rid of... The extra scaffolding and put a little bit back just so it doesn't look too weird. Maybe like this. Probably all the way up here. And it looks like it's all saturated already. That seems fine. Alright, that's our junk data card processing finished, I think. Probably. Maybe. Seems good. Junk data processing. Snap two. And I think we're good to go. Double check the snap. Make sure we can rotate it. Seems good. Alright, let's put that down next to blank cards. And let's decide where we're going to put it. Honestly, just about anywhere is probably fine, but, like, we do have our worst defender so far for Chunk Data Card is right here. 50% almost comes out as Junk. Hmm. 
This one's like one in ten. Sure, why not? I'll put it closer to the center so other builds can use it, other sciences more easily. Alright, let's grab our construction train. How much scaffolding do we have here? 2k? And we need... Uh, 3.5k. That's a couple of trips. I'd put it somewhere neutral? Yeah, we kinda are. Verzor? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Because this is the center. We're going to have energy science in this general direction, material science in this general direction, uh, astro and bio up here somewhere, um, and that's the space elevator. This is all our resources brought up through the space elevator. LTN is just special. I see you're having a bit much coal in your requester station. Let's go to that station and pick up some coal instead of this provider station. That's why I changed the defaults. Alright, we're going to wait here for inactivity. Then we're going to go back and resupply. Uh, and then we're going to come here and wait for inactivity again. And I'm going to make the inactivity much longer. Actually... I'll make it indefinite so that I have to send it on its way because I don't want to miss it when it's sitting here probably with everything we need to finish the build. Alright, while that's happening, let's move on to the next build. Uh, and I think it's about time I cleared a bunch of this clutter the old editor surface. There's a lot less uh, delay when we add or remove signals now, but it still adds up if we're removing four blocks at once. Get out of here, scaffolding. Alright, so what did we want to build before we were so rudely interrupted? I don't know. Let's put our usual block in here. Grab some scaffolding. I think it's like 78 to fill this out. And then, well, let's have a look. I haven't actually done the last step for space science, uh, for energy science. Might be nice to do that. Is this flickering? How's our power? Not great, actually. Uh, we might be reaching the limits of simply having solar panels built into the rail network. Well, it had to happen eventually. Should I do a block just for solar panels? No, I don't actually want like unnecessary, un unnecessary rail signals and stuff around the solar panels. Though I can't really decide where I'd want to... Like, I want to have... I want to have room to expand as far as this base is going to go before I hit solar panels. Probably end up getting rid of this eventually. Time to upgrade the solar panels? Um... 
We don't have the tier twos yet. Oh. Oh. Guess what the last thing we put in the spaghetti science was. Sure. That might take a minute, though. For some reason, we're only still at 11% on... S, uh, on the superior inserters. X-ray observation data. Oh, there's no scrap output on this. Uh, filter inserter. I didn't notice the scrap. Consider... That's kind of weird that we got to an entire... We got an entire research finished before we found this problem. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. A minimalist rail block so trains could build solar arrays? Maybe. I think I'd rather have the self-expanding solar network that I had last time. Like, over at outskirts, maybe I'll even, like, just put it way up here to make sure that we're not going to expand out that far. Or by the time we do, it's, like, trivial to move this. But, um... Yeah, we basically have a drop-off with bots and solar panels and stuff, and we'll have a blueprint that can be repeated with uh, including some roboports to just expand it out indefinitely. Maybe I would even use construction pylons. Can I make those yet? Uh, sort of, yes. And this one needs tier 3. What's the area? 64 by 64 construction area. This one's considerably bigger, but I don't think it needs to be that big. The construction pylon still gives supply area, right? No? Wait, what? Pylon. Pylon substation. Supply area 64 by 64. Construction pylon has no supply area? Well then, I'm not that excited about it. That's exactly what you don't want? Roboports in your solar field? Constructed all with a train's construction area. I, I want it to be easy to expand it, to not have to spend much time on it. Is the main thing. Here comes some more copper core fragments. Fantastic. How's this build doing? Plenty of elevator cables still. If it's nearly 2k, we know it's working. Plenty of ammo. Yes. And the batteries are getting moved around. Discharged. Wait, what? Discharged? Destroyed. This is destroyed. Did I not set the... Did I not set this to pick up the destroyed ones? Where's our set requests? Here it is. Oh, I wanted to set it so... Yeah, 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 yeah. We wait until there's one stack of destroyed space train power packs before we bother putting it into the train. That's fine. I said train, I meant spaceship. Space train. Flying space train. How's our build in orbit looking? 
Let's go. Uh, here it is. Junk data card. Fantastic. I was considering putting solar panels here, but obviously that would mess up our lovely name spot. We require additional pylons, always. Always and forever. Are we actually like two computers short to finish this? Oh, but there's also some belts missing anyway. Um, let's just... Well, let's go back and let's come back. Actually, come back here. No, what are you doing? There we go. Wait for inactivity. Uh, and I might have to put some... Some modules in. Don't even have any efficiencies here. Don't worry about it for now. Okay. I think I will take a little break there. My voice is getting a tiny bit hoarse. Let me go fix this first. Much better. Uh, and check that we haven't lost... Oh. Oh. Um, that's kind of spooky, actually. That's, that's more than a little spooky, actually. Let's go add some more turrets and walls. Hello and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, Mick, good to see you. Uh, what was that all for? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if you've been lurking. I mean, I'm sure you have. There we go. And let's double our lasers here. You know what? Even more lasers. For the broken defense, indeed. Vario, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. I'm going to park myself somewhere safe. What is this? Oh, it's scanning. We'll give it a little save. Wrap some words on stream. And I'll get refreshed. Once I get back to base. We have even more turrets here. Not much of turrets. I should do more uh, pollution eaters as well. Since we don't really want to have to fight the biters. Why is the pollution cloud all here, of all places? You're joking. It's all from the copper mine? Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, maybe we don't have to be this greedy with the uh, with the productivity modules here. Maybe that's not quite necessary. Maybe I need some fuel before I can fly. Maybe I have to do a, a short walk of shame right now. Let's do that first. And I'll take a break. I, 
can't believe how much pollution that mine is producing. Ugh. One pollution eater next to the copper? Uh, yeah, I can't be bothered right now. I need it, I need it to just not spew out as much pollution. Pollution's only minus 20% from an efficiency. What does the prod do? Uh, plus 8. Energy is plus 80. So if they're like 1 to 1, it'll be less than normal pollution. But not that small. Beacons with efficiency? Yeah, I thought of that, but like... I would have to reshape the whole mine. Or even pay 10 megawatt, well more than 10 megawatt. I'd have to pay like 20 megawatt for wide area beacons. And we don't have that much power. Oh, uh, it's all bad. Give me some fuel. Actually, don't even bother. I mean, give me some fuel anyway, but... But I'm not going to run over there and shove a couple of efficiency modules in. Alright, let's save real quick. And we'll do some LTN screensaver on our main planet. Throw up some words on stream. And I'll get some hydration, etc. going. Mind you, Nalvis was practically inactive for some tens of hours. Yeah, it was. Just cut the power, it'll stop polluting. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay, that's a bit better. How are we doing? Fantastic. Nicely done. Maybe we'll continue that a bit later. Let's turn that off for now. And back to space exploration. Where we have our delightfully quick trains zooming all over the place. Alright. Um, meanwhile, I'm stuck on Nalvis. All of these little bits of revealed area have uh, have been happening because the weapon delivery platform has been doing its job. Whoops. Uh, let's see. Products finished 171. That includes like 10 or so that were aimed at... I think it was... It was either Exorion or... I think it was Gibble. Because I couldn't find the last few um, worms myself. Uh, but yeah, we probably had at least 150 uh, weapon delivery capsule, ir iridium pile drivers um, aimed at the biters on Nalvis. Very good. Slowly clearing them out. How's our. Uh, that's a lot of pollution. How's our iridium doing now that we fixed it? Not as great as I would necessarily hope. Um, has it been working? Is it consistent? Ish. Hey there, Akira. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, are we actually bottlenecked on the core fragments now? As opposed to something else. That's, uh, that's a nice change of pace. Yeah, I, I think we are. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do some more orbital base. And... Did get the construction train to finish this in so far as it's possible. I didn't switch these on. Is the only reason that's not saturated yet. Oh no, no 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 no. No please. Uh I'm accidentally requesting thermofluid to both sides. Wait, that means two trains of thermofluid are coming. Oh no, it's too late. Oh no. Uh, it might not mean two thermo nope. fluid, fluid trains are coming. Nope. Nope. Here's our thermo fluid train, and here's another one. Uh, okay. Well. We only brought 120,000. We can fit 200,000. It's fine. But I need to... If I just change the station name... No, never mind. Uh, junk data with thermofluid. Why am I not able to use this? Does anyone know? Junk data... With thermofluid... Empty cargo. Off you go. Easy peasy. Alright, well that thermofluid is going to last a while. Uh, if this thing were running 24-7, which it won't be, we'd be looking at 21.333 cool thermofluid per second. Uh, that would take about... 1.56 hours uh, to run out. Not as long as I thought it would be, actually. Wow. I didn't realize we had this many junk cards. Do I have junk cards available for pickup from here? I do not. We've got 109,000. <laughs> okay. Uh, it might be worth setting up 
uh, setting up a pickup for junk data cards from the old spaghetti. That might be a good idea. Completely backlogged on the junk cards, yeah. Absolutely. Do we have any more bulk rail loaders? Uh, we don't. Why don't I just get the construction train to park up here for a second? Actually, I don't think you need to empty yourself after that. There we go. Uh, whoops. Can we maybe empty that? Junk dot card. Do we not have an active provider? How about... How about this then? Surely we have a chest. Uh, nope. Okay. Storage chest then. There we go. And just copy paste that there. Uh, and then, same settings. And don't forget to tell LTN what we've got. Seems good. Alright then. That's gonna be a whole lot of blank data cards. Maybe I should have done some kind of balancing here and set it up so that we can fill this whole thing with junk data cards if we've got such a large backlog. Because if there isn't the demand for the blank data cards, I mean, obviously there will be. But if we don't have the demand for them just yet, it might be a bit more complicated to sort things out. What modules do they want? Uh, just some speed and efficiency modules. No big deal. I'll sort it out when I get back. Uh, so anyway, I think I'll do a somewhat temporary build to get energy 2, perhaps? Let's see. This is made in research server or advanced research server. I don't think we have... We're not getting advanced for a while. We need bioenergy and material three. Uh, but I think I'll do the same thing as I did uh, with our uh, with our catalog build here. I'll space it out so that we can do the so that we can easily upgrade it to the advanced research service. I'll probably end up using the exact same layout. Maybe. How many inputs does it have, though? Too many. One, two, three, four solids. That's only two belts. That's the same so far. Uh, what about tier two? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Um, 
That's kind of four belts plus the energy science pack one. And then... One, two... Oh, sorry, four lanes. One, two, three, four lanes plus energy science pack two. Uh, and then... One, two, three, four lanes plus energy science pack three. And all of these are made in... Research server. Okay. In that case, I think I'll do something that looks very similar to... What I did last time? Perhaps? So, uh, we'll do the same layout for all the different... ...colored science packs. Or, I guess not matter science, but you get the idea. One, two, three, four, going clockwise. Um, we need four inputs for this one. Four inputs plus one. Four inputs plus one. Four inputs plus one. Negative a hundred, negative a hundred, negative a hundred negative 100, and it always comes out as 25 degree thermofluid, right? So that part's nice and convenient. They all spit out junk data cards and the desired product. Um, so I think, honestly, if not for the number of inputs, we could probably build this in quite a small place. Put a drop off here. And uh let's see. Train is fifty. Cargo wagon is fifty. We can fit six. I think I've done this exact math before. With four different things we're dropping off. Uh, we can comfortably fit 1.5 cargo wagons of each. 320 over 75 is 4 with change. So we'll do 1.5 train loads of stuff or holmium plate. Um, Sig data is actually shared across all of these, and so is energy insight. Okay. What's, what's our rate? What if these machines were to go full speed with no help? Super slow for the physical inputs. We could probably end up with more than half a belt of these two if we sped things up. But this is already kind of hard for the base to keep up with. Okay. I could do a single hmm. If I did direct insertion that would obviously be pretty tidy. Oh, I could even do direct insertion from both of these. And we'd obviously end up with like a big symmetrical space wasting thing. I mean, most of this is going to be empty space no matter how we go about it. But if we try to cram it into like one quarter block, there's not going to be enough room for all the inputs. Let's see. I think I probably just want to put this in the middle somewhere. Or something. Except... 
obviously we'll keep all the fluids facing the same way. So we'd have like direct insertion like so. And we'd obviously need to get the junk data out. Wait, what? That doesn't feel right. I kind of like this better. No, no I don't. How about this? Yeah, I kind of like that better. I don't suppose we could fit the not-so-advanced research machines into that template. Oh, we can! They're actually 3x3. Three three. Didn't you research spaceships last weekend? Or am I dreaming? Uh, I did not research spaceships. We have one spaceship. This is... Oh, hold on. Uh, this is our Grand Theft spaceship that we got from the asteroid belt. I've got exactly one spaceship in use because... Well, because we only have one, but the reason I decided to use it here is we've got a copper core fragment planet, which is absolutely huge. It's right next door, almost. Um, and we have space elevators. So what I've got here is kind of close to what I want the final iteration on our outposts to look like. We've got space elevator, a bunch of solar panels, transmitting power down. Uh, spaceship brings... Uh, space elevator cables, train power packs, um, media defense ammo, whatever we need. Uh, and takes back copper core fragments. And the trains bring up the copper core fragments. Down on the planet, all we've got is some rail and core mining drills, basically. That's pretty much it. Very, very neat, very tidy. Still dreaming then? Okay. Uh, but yeah, we can't research spaceships until... Astro 3. And even if we had Astro 3, we need... Energy 2 to get Ion. I... I don't want to be tempted to do spaghetti science for Astro 3 right now, but it would solve some of our problems. Uh, we do need, however, well, for better throughput, we need more research. Uh, we can get all the way to Spaceship Structural Integrity 2 actually, because we've already got the material science too in the spaghetti science. It would take some time, of course, but not, not that much. It's not that sh expensive. Maybe I should do it. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build a nice, lovely, you know, space rail based, neat space science system, but like I keep getting pulled back into the spaghetti because there's just one more set of data cards to make, and then we get superior inserters, and then all of a sudden it's one more set of data cards to make to get spaceships. And the the volume of science we need is only 200. We actually need Astro Science Pack 3... Oh, wait, we already needed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'd basically immediately get clamps as well. That's 500 signs, though. We have cookies. Join the dark side. <laughs> Spaghetti science is delicious, indeed. 
Verzor, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All that research, the spaghetti would be awesome. I mean, it's literally just one more set of four data cards and something like this to get everything we need for spaceships from this ridiculous mess. It's very tempting, I'm not going to lie. We'll see how long it takes to get our flat solar panels. Uh, see if we can't design... I mean, if I were to try speed running, designing and building... Let's see, we've got energy 2 already. I'd need material 1 and 2, astro 1, 2, 3. So that's like... Uh, as much of... Like, that's like almost this all over again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven builds because I have to do the actual energy science after the catalogs. So six, seven builds. Let's call it seven builds to get material science, seven builds to get Astro 2. Uh, one, two, three, I think at least more. Make it ten builds to get Astro 3. Before we can do the same science, albeit faster and neater. Um, even if this thing is crawling along, which it is. Speaking of which, is it still stuck? Microwave, microwave, microwave. It's not stuck, it's just slow. It's very much bottlenecked on our thermofluid. Um, but yeah, even if this is just crawling along, I'd be hard-pressed to actually build the science properly before that catches up. I guess we can try. X Game Codes, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Old Busk, good to see you again. Did I see you earlier today, or was that yesterday? don't remember. Well, either way. Uh, but yeah, let's let's try finishing this uh, this little design. Method over madness, indeed. So if this was energy, whoops. If this was energy two. If this was energy one. Uh, I guess the pipe would look something like this. Doesn't wait, right? Energy three, energy four. Um, doesn't fit together as neatly as I would have hoped. But more importantly, can we put this here as an upgrade path? I think we can. Travel for work, so I've been away for 14 days. Damn. I hope the job's enjoyable at least. Somewhat. Haven't reached space yet. I have the research, but I'm not sure if I have the strength to do it. Oh no. Alright, so. Oh, that just fits together beautifully? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, and then like this, I guess. I definitely like the look of that. Output might be tricky.
Job's great. Now I have four weeks off. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I think we'll probably have our input thermofluid find its way over here. That's symmetrical, right? Very important. Eight tiles. Nine tiles. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll use some underground belts. Maybe. Okay. So what if we, what if we had this go fast? Well, what's a realistic science target? Because it's not like we're going to go... It's not like we're going to keep up with this one day, right? Unless? Negative 80%. So how fast would this be? 37 science pack 3s per second? 151 junk data cards per second coming out? I don't think we're going to go that fast. Let's just aim for like, I don't know, 3 or 4 science per minute. Which would look like what exactly? This is already 4.8 per second. Uh, for the tier 4 specifically. I don't think we have to worry about like speed buffing this or anything. So, less than half a belt for any given resource. Should be fine. Build for 60, be happy with 4. Uh, I think uh, if we're going to go that crazy, I don't mind redesigning this one day. Let's just get some... Well... Maybe just short trains dropping off here would be fine. Wait, 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 wait. Energy Science Pack 1... Oh, I'm thinking of something else. I was thinking of... Now oh, we were already putting these into the rail network. That's fine. That is fine. So what if I have a short train? It might be easier to deal with the inputs that way. Except two of the inputs from the first train go into all of these. Maybe I should put this closer for the look of it as well. Shouldn't be difficult to do that, right? for the hell of it. We could put some more solar panels here if we didn't want to waste the space. Uh, before I do that, I definitely want to put those on a half belt. 2.4 SIG data, 2.4 energy insight. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I could just sushi it all the way around for the look of it. Let's make it clockwise, actually. Or... 
However, since we're doing that already, I could skip this part. Well, it's not gonna... It's not gonna make it simpler if I do that, actually. Um, and input priority right. Seems good. Sig data and energy insight. Energy insight. Fantastic. Holmium plate and energy catalog. Let's put catalog here since it's easy to find. Plate. And that's going to be only going into this one. What would be the neatest way to do this? Uh, probably closer, actually. Maybe like this? And then... Long arm inserter like that. Are you not going to need a lot more inputs for the four machines, or am I just overthinking this? Uh, these machines with no speed buffs would be capable of 4.8 energy science packs per second. Um, we're not going to be going that fast. Maybe at the very end of the game I might decide to go faster, but for now we're not worrying about it. Um, all of these inputs, even for the entire block, add up to significantly less than half a belt each. Even the junk card output is less than half a belt. So, no worries there. Actually, what's the total solid output? Uh, let's see. 4.8 plus 3.6. Oh, wait. Well, they're obviously not all going to output full at the same time. So, yeah, it's going to be way, 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 way. It's the 45. I think we can output it all on one belt and sort it. True, but you still have a lot more than four items as input. Are you sure that all that isn't going to clog up the single rail unloader? I'm going to do one unloader per um, per server, is the idea. So this is going to look like this, and this, and this. That's fine. I mean, I don't blame you for not being able to see it yet. I hadn't really fleshed it out. This is what I'm thinking of going for. And then we could maybe have... ...output stations. Well, we kind of need four output stations. Five, including the junk data cards. Um, I don't know where I want to put those. Maybe, like, here? We'll see. I'm liking the way it's starting to look on the map, though. Also, obviously, if this long arm is here, it's not gonna... Uh, it's not gonna work for our mini... Mini server, but... We'll work around that. Okay. Let's get some... 
test inputs already. We'll do set filters blacklist. Because there's only four inputs. And they're slow. Looks good. Would say make the stations like you normally do, then you can also have a bit of belt buffer of items. Uh, they'll stack to like 200, so I'm not too concerned about buffering items on the belts. For the output, that is. Okay, so this is going to skip three tunnels. And we're going to do the exact same shapes here, I think. Uh, except I forgot that we don't actually need these two inputs anywhere else. Um, so this is Holmium Cable and Broad Energy. And that's it. We don't need these two. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, let me just go ahead and set up our test inputs over here before we make a mess. And then I need some filters on these. What are we looking for? Holmium cable and broad catalog. Broad catalog. This catalog is comprehensive, i.e. tier 3. And we're looking for Holmium solenoid. And then... Last but not least is Quantum Processor and Extended Catalog. I'm going to be really lazy and do the shift right click, shift left click for the settings. It's just going to mean there's a couple of items in here that don't belong. Actually, why is it putting in so many... Uh-oh. Wait, what? Oh, there's five things here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Um, We don't need the... The science brought in from the train. Are you making all these exotic uh, constitu constituents already, slash elsewhere? Most of them, yeah. Or I will be. So we've already got Catalog 1. Um, we've already got Holmium Plate. I don't think I've done Sig Data, actually. And we've got Energy Insight. Did I not do Sig Data? Oh yeah, we did do our first... No, I haven't done any SIG data yet. Good to know. Junk. Got. Got, uh... Card. Fantastic. I wonder how many... 
broken data cards we have already. Oh wow. <laughs> More than I was expecting. That's for sure. Okay. Alright. Why don't we do a broken data card build real quick. But then I need... Uh, I kind of need this space. We'll get to it. It's fine. It It's not the end of the world if it backs up while it's waiting for us. Alright, how are we going to do our outputs? Can we actually belt un under this? Nope. Even if the pipe wasn't in the way. I would love to not have to move this pylon substation for the look of it. I could just do all of our outputs to a belt over here. If we have the superior filter inserters, that's not the long one. Superior long filter inserter. Uh, and we're just looking for junk cards. Either that or I could, you know, do it here and then underground or something. Or even... No, I want to keep that consistent. Oh, that would go there, though. That's not going to work. Also, now that I look at it, maybe I do want that to stop. Because it's not like we're putting things back on the belt, right? That seems fine. Actually, I think I like the input at the first point where the items can be seen. Okay. I could do it here. Junk. JN, that works. Oddly enough. Uh, but then this one doesn't have room. I could just do this input over here, I suppose. Um, except actually I do want everything unfiltered taken out of here. Although some of these will eventually output fast enough to give the long arms trouble. Superior long inserter with no filter. Um, and I could do some circuitry if necessary to, like, balance these. I think I'll have to. I'd kind of like to have... Actually, now that I look at it, let's do our output stations here for each uh, science type. That'll be... Very neat and tidy, I think. And then we'll just have one more output somewhere for junk cards. Like here, probably. If we can fit it. Kind of? Maybe I should move that over. Um, but the idea was... Well, obviously junk needs to all go to the same place. But I want, 
uh, tier 1 science packs to be able to make their way over here. Uh, I don't believe we need double length rings to pick up science packs. I could even put the station here if I wanted to, but I don't think I'd like the look of that. I could maybe just filter split the output away. Pack 2, for example. That looks reasonably tidy. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's let's go with that. So this is going to go. Oops. This is going to go here. Science pack one. Actually, keep the test inputs for now. This would go here, this would go here, it's going to be a little bit different actually, no it's not. Well, it could be. Depends on where I want to put junk. Alright, so superior long inserter, output, belt, go burr, and this one as well. And then we can have symmetrical inputs, very cool. And then we just have to take the junk cards somewhere. Uh, I think I do want double train for the junk cards, even though it's going to be quite slow. If we can fit it in somewhere elegantly. That's a big if, I feel like. Well... As long as we don't mind not having that many signals. And I don't think we're going to need that many signals. The junk cards would block uh, these two. But that's not going to happen very often. I think that's probably fine. And we could limit our signal count by having pick up and drop off in the same sector. That's not going to be that big of a deal either, I think. Seems a bit off when you have the one train sticking out over the station. Sticking out over the station. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah, this will... I mean, it'll take... Let's calculate. Uh, if this were to go full speed, which it won't, 14.4 uh, junk data cards per second, 50 times 100. Um, it would take 5.8 minutes to get a train load full of junk data cards. Um, and that's if all of this was going at full speed. Meanwhile, let's say Holmium Plate stacks to 100, I think. Yeah, Holmium Plate stacks to 100. Well, 
I guess you have to combine all of these, but like... For the junk cards? I mean, I could potentially... Let's see. Did I do short trains and long trains allowed here? I guess I could, there's no reason not to. It'll sort itself out either way, right? As long as we make sure we've got significantly more capacity than we need. Even though there's no balancing here, I think it'll work out. Maybe not. As long as we have a significant excess of... No, I don't like that. Bokhaza? Boshaza? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'd need to merge and split if I want short trains dropping off the junk cards. And it'd really probably only be for this build. Why did I turn that off? Oh, I see. Nah, I think we'll just live with that. It's not going to be often the train comes here anyway. Let's limit that to... Well, I was going to limit it to 100 stacks. Fifty stacks on one of the wagons. Seems good. And then junk cards are just gonna come down here. Let's just do it like this. Those undergrounds are too short to make things look nicer. Also, let's not forget to actually connect these. Okay. So what are we missing? Thermofluid and nothing else. Uh, I didn't actually figure out where I wanted to put that. Well, I guess it's fine. We would only need 48 per second even if we were going crazy with this. So... Let me just move this real quick. So, 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 if we have... Oh yeah, I can't do the... Oh, yes, I can. I think I'd like it better if... Let me just move this real quick. I think I would like it better if we make sure the train can unload quickly and more to the point, this will look symmetrical. Even if that maybe doesn't look that great. Why don't we use the old vanilla storage tanks? Because they only fit less than one train load between the two of them. That's probably a pretty good reason. That's way more than enough storage. I don't think I care. Why do they work in space? Why does what work in space? Klaus Wayne? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Vanilla tanks? They always did? I mean, SE.5 they did. I didn't have these other tanks last playthrough. Alright, so we need the... 
this is the input fluid, this is the output fluid. And I definitely want to put the output fluid over here. Oh. I might want to change the shape of this one a little bit. But then... But then, but then, but then... I know Hack's starting to slack off lately? What? Seems a bit off when... what? When you have the one train sticking out over the station? What do you want me to do? It's not sticking out over the station, it's just... This train that doesn't have to come here very often is just going to block these two momentarily and then it'll it'll be gone. And the throughput that we need for this place is really, really slow. Look at all these items. Like 0.6 per second catalogs, for example. Three quantum processes per second. Nine holmium solenoids per second. Basically need special belts, pipes, assemblers, etc. That you also need special tanks. Yeah, they don't include those. I mean, it's either that or shunt this over a bit, and then it's going to mess up the symmetry of the output stations. Oh, wait, what's this? This is a pickup station for tier 4 uh, science packs, actually. I think I just want to put the output in the same place as the junk cards. That makes more sense. Now where are we going to make that line up? It's not looking very promising. I guess like this? I don't love that. Um, actually, we could probably... Do it like this? Oh yeah, perfect fit. And then it doesn't line up with this by one tile? No! Could you? Myself, I don't care how things look when you uh, when I build it compared to you. <laughs> okay. But I think this is looking pretty good. I mean, there has to be an exception in one or two spots because of the uh, because of the thermo fluids. I don't love this actually. Maybe if we just do. I think all of these options are bad. To be perfectly honest. What do you guys think? For the fluid input? Fluid output's fairly obvious. I would claim. What if I just did pipe like this? What if I just did an extra underground here? That might be best. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Seems good. Let's test it. Oh, and I need this um, input thermo fluid to actually get where it needs to go. That lines up nicely, at least. And we don't really need to connect this over here, because the whole thing's super slow. Alright. Let's see if this thing works so far. 
It's negative 100, right? Memory fluid. Negative 100. Ooh, sounds. Oh, I don't have the inserter here. Minimum consumption, one kilowatt. Is this game like God of War? What? Alpha An Ananas? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 3.6 energy science packs per second. I think, um... I'm pretty sure a long-handed inserter could actually keep up with that. If it's direct insertion. I like the base when these things are running. Oh, the inserters can't keep up? The long arm inserter here can't keep up. That's more like it. And even if these ones could keep up, I want the symmetry. That's a good sound. I like that bass sound. So... yeah. How am I not seeing any outputs? making their way to the stations. Okay, we've got some energy science pack 2s. I'll limit this to one stack so that we can actually see what happens as it saturates. Oh, did I not set the filters correctly? Well, there's your problem. It's just by the luck of... It's just by luck of the shape of this thing that we didn't get stuff going to the wrong place. Cool, cool, cool. That should leave nothing but junk data cards on the... roundabout. Uh, where am I taking the junk data cards? Here they are. So I don't think anything actually ever goes here? Right? Except it kind of looks nice, I guess. Um, but yeah, we are getting energy science packs in all the right places. Pretty neat, if you ask me. Don't forget to connect this wire. Maybe I should just do one large container here for the thermofluid. I mean, one huge. It would be slightly off-center. Is this an improvement? I don't know. I don't think so, aesthetically. It's also going to take longer to unload. Is it going to cause problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably going to have to put some smarts in for... for when we stop outputting from this. Trouble is, I'd have to have a wire connect from all the way over here. I guess we can just run it across the belt. 
would say the splitter is a failsafe, just in case the science backs up or something. Yeah. I kind of want to see what happens. Oh. Well, there's what happens when the science backs up. That's exactly what I was just thinking about. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So we do need to limit outputs on these based on whether this is full. And I can't actually reach across without adding some belt. I guess we could do that. Otherwise, I'd have to add arbitrary power pulls. I think I'd rather add a little bit of arbitrary belt. Actually, could I put that there? That seems good. Uh, and I could do an anything signal. Well, there's no need. Anyway, we're going to limit this to... Oh, I'll do that later, because I want to test this. No condition on belts. Wire connection like so. Science pack, less than, how much is a train load? I think I only want one train load to accumulate. 200 times 50 is 10k, that's more than I thought it would be. Just uh, viscerally. And obviously we'll need to change the symbol for each of these. It's really hard to see the, um, the long arm inserters against the backdrop of the scaffolding. That's definitely easy to spot. Well, for now it'll be scaffolding. How you get out the junk card if you limit the output on the inserter? We're just gonna not be trying to output energy science packs. Um, if the science packs have reached their limit, that's all. Therefore, we won't have to find room for those junk cards at the time. Uh, the only trouble is... Well, let me just copy-paste that real quick. So I can put the settings back in instantly. And I'm going to change these to, like, 200. So that we can test it quickly. Then we just void this. Void this. Void this. Void this. And definitely void this. How much is here already? Not that much. Okay. Now I'll remove those. And we should see... What's your problem? Oh. What? 
This is facing the wrong way. That doesn't help. How did that happen? And how did it happen in only two places? Oh, probably copy-paste flipping incorrectly. Alright. Uh, let's speed it up a bit. As fast as the inserters can go. Yeah, put put 200 Holmium plate in before you pick up any catalogs. Sure. Whatever. Um, but yeah, we should end up with one or the other of these at... Here we go. Science Pack 4 comes first. That makes sense. Because we get one goes to two, goes to four, goes to uh, six rather, goes to eight. Sorry, it's two, four, six, eight from one recipe each. Alright, so this one's full now, therefore it's not outputting. We got 36. Wow. This can hold on to a lot of output. We've got another 72. Science Pack 4 and 48 junk data cards sitting in this machine waiting to be ejected. Something I've wanted quite often in Factorio is a filter like this, but like not a strict one. So basically the priority for... Energy Science Catalog 3 would be to go to this side, but they can also go to this side. And maybe we could also set it so that other things could or couldn't go to this side. But there's like a priority as well. That would have helped briefly when this got stuck, but the whole thing would have got jammed shortly afterwards. This one's full. As expected, actually, if you think about it. They're all filling up in reverse order. If full keep going on the same belt, yes. Yes, indeed. I like that nodders emote. Nidas. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is working. All right. Let's copy-paste those settings back into place. Actually, I think I'm just scared enough to just type them. NK each. Uh, where is it? And this one. And of course we're going to have provide stack threshold 100. As, uh, energy rather 4. Provider. And station names are going to be very similar. Should have copy pasted. This is energy three. Whoops. What was what was that misclick? <laughs> My mouse just flew away at the last moment. Energy two. And energy one. Cool, cool, cool. This one's gonna be a high priority pickup for the junk and thermofluid. Get rid of the void. Don't forget to connect these. And I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. 
I think this looks quite nice. Alright, now for the other challenge is cramming in our mini, our non-advanced research servers um, before we upgrade this. Train length on the short stations. Good catch, thank you. Very good catch, because it would have not just been a nuisance, but a problem. And this one is short also. I haven't actually done the requests yet. Uh, so we're looking for SIG data, energy catalog, energy insight. And uh, if we did one train load of each, that would be 200 stacks. We've got 320. I already said we're going to do 1.5 train loads, so 75, yeah, 75 stacks, 7,500, uh, half of that, Three thousand seven hundred fifty. Gonna be using that number a lot. Um, request threshold sixty thousand. Request threshold stack threshold fifty. Seems good. I'm gonna copy paste here because a lot of these settings are gonna be similar. Uh, and this is going into a server. Oh, let's put an advanced server for the look of it. We want plate. Uh, seek data. Catalog and energy insight and thermofluid. Negative 100, right? It is indeed negative 100. We can fit 100k. Uh, we don't go through it that quickly. Let's just ask for like 80,000. We'll request a train when we're down to 20k. I think that's more than safe enough. And then... Uh, I guess I'll just put... Energy Science Pack 1, 2, 3, 4, or just 1. So this one is not going to be any of these, actually. It's going to be Catalog 2. And... It's only going to be two things, isn't it? Catalog 2 and Holmium Cable. Which is also stack size 50. This one is catalog 3, and solenoids, which is also stack size 50, and last but not least um, is quantum chips, and catalog 4. And I do realize we need the thermo fluid in each of these, but also, also we're only like half filling the bulk rail unloader, that's fine. Input resources are quite slow. 
If we desperately want to make sure we don't run out here in particular, we could just set it as a high priority. I think we already set up the output stations, almost. We want that to have... Well, I don't even need to limit it, since we're limiting it based on this inserter. But we may as well. If we glance at this later on, we'll know that we're not allowing more than one cargo wagon full to accumulate. Right. Station names. Uh, that's obviously not correct this time. We want catalog two. And what was it? Holmium cable? Yes. And it's for energy two. I want to copy that template. So this will be solenoid. Oh. Solenoid, catalog three. And we're making signs three. The nice thing is this uh, this is gonna work for our other sciences as well. They're gonna look the same. Uh if any, if the last playthrough is anything to go by. Alright, so this is uh, energy 4. And it requires processes and catalog 4. Very nice. Let's remove the excess scaffolding. Those latest trains are also three long or four long? Wait, which? Three long. Oh, god damn it. I actually remembered that and then I forgot it. Now I have to go and type these all individually because I can't just copy paste. Combinator settings. Good catch, thank you. There we go. But there is one station that does a four length down here. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry too much about how often about the traffic when we're picking up 10,000 science packs. That shouldn't be that much of an issue. And the inputs are quite slow as well. One tenth of a stack of quantum processors for eight science packs. And one fiftieth of a stack of catalog. Alright. Let's remove the excess scaffolding. And I kind of want some more scaffolding definitely in here. For the look of it. Actually, I'm very tempted to go out of my way to get some plating just for this occasion. Particularly with how the long arm inserters are practically invisible on the um, on the scaffolding. We might even already have this much plating lying around because we got some for free. I kind of do want these to be long arms, uh, to be advanced long arms already, just for the sake of consistency. That plating does look nice indeed. 
I don't think I mind having scaffolding in the other places. Around here, for instance. In fact, there's really very little to add to make it look a bit nicer, I think. I don't know, maybe I should make the whole thing plating. It definitely works with this square of pipes as well. Looks nice on the map too. Alright, let's blueprint this. No G side. One. Two. Three. Four. G science packs. I think we already removed all the cheat items. That's weird. Why did... The motion of the belts is a lot more noticeable when I put those tiles in. That's weird. Alright. And check our snap to grid. That's wrong. 86251. That's why I always check. I mean, I'm sure I would have noticed it before I placed it. Still. And let's put it here. Uh, and now that we've got all that, we'll try squeezing in our research servers somehow. while leaving a clear upgrade path. I guess I could literally just... put an inserter here. And for the input, we're gonna need... Well, the trouble is, this is two inputs, and this is one. I think we're going to have to temporarily do something like this. What? Oh, that's a little bit different from that spot. We also need some long arms like this. It's looking a little bit odd. It's fine, we'll get the advanced research servers going before you know it. Uh, and then we need the thermo fluid output also. Does that actually work? Probably. I'm not going to bother to test it. We can find out. We can fix it. I don't suppose we have our long arm inserters yet. Nope. 34%? That's a bit slower than I thought it would be. Missing Astro 2. Astro 2 is missing microwave. Microwave is missing thermo fluid. Maybe I should deliver some cold thermo fluid from the train network. Didn't connect inputs for top right and bottom right. Inputs for top right? Oh, true. Oh my goodness. I think so. And like so.
Alright. I might as well blueprint that as well. I'm just gonna put one and two. Temp energy side. Cool, cool, cool. That should work. Now then. Uh, how are our defenses? I completely forgot to fix them, but apparently they've been still doing kind of okay. I need some more, um... Oof, this is slow. Let's put on the thruster suit again. And this Mark 1 thruster suit should probably be here just in case I die. Gazownik, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Won't the first inserter always pick an item from the closest side on the belt? Oh, probably. I mean, we'll figure it out. Closer insert. These ones. Yeah, you're right. I could do like a a chest here and set filters blacklist. But then I'd have to replace the filter inserters with a blue inserter later on. Whatever. It's going to be a slight pain. But not that big of a pain to upgrade it regardless. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm looking for laser turrets, which I've got. Let's go repair that bit of the wall. Or I forget. Forty six one oh eight. I want this train here, I think it is. Alright. This train. To have the same color. That's our garbage train. That's for if we ever overflow on a resource that comes out of coal mining. Need a flamethrower turret as well. Oh my god, they're all dead. Uh, one, two, three. That is a little bit of handcrafting. I don't think I can jump into the editor while I'm doing this. That's okay. Let's do our energy science build here. And I'm hoping that we've got 674. That's a lot more. Uh, that's a lot more than I was expecting. We don't even have it in the mall. We've got 200 space platform plating that we got for free. <laughs> Can we just make it here? I'm pretty sure we can't prod module it, right? Because it has to be made in space. It is only made in space. And it actually goes into advanced tech cards, oddly enough. And particle beam shielding data. Okay then. 
Well, for now, just doing it in the autocrafter should be fine. But we'll need to request some scaffolding in here. And then I want a thousand plating. So within 30 seconds, that will flick over. I think this is the number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This machine here will start making plating shortly. And not at a bad pace. I'm thinking I should... Oh, I never even did this vanilla train to pick up trash. I guess I could put it somewhere else. I should maybe do a train specifically to do scaffolding. Etc. Because it takes up a lot of space in here. And I'm pretty much going to have to just swap this out. That's going to take its sweet time. Let's let's cycle. No, 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 no. Yep, there we go. be quicker to just put stuff into the train. How quickly will we get our plating? Not that quickly. Stealing 200 from here is hardly going to be worth the effort though. Alright, I guess I'll give it a minute. It's waiting on inactivity, which is not going to be met. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I should be able to set it up to build this. Once it's fully loaded, and we'll come back and just have to place this when all the scaffolding and such has been put down. Nice. Is there a advantage in the new platform? Yeah, it has better walking speed. Apart from looking nicer. Walking speed is actually double what it is on the scaffolding. 75% versus 150%. The, um, the shiny new, uh, whatever this is called, uh, reinforced plate gives 175% walk speed versus reinforced concrete is 150, concrete is 140. But I mean, I mainly just built this because it looks nice. I'm not going to put it everywhere, I'm going to reserve it for some special places, like the mall. Partly because I want to be able to easily identify them looking at the map. Um, Brynite rods are saturated. Fantastic. What about Iridium? Is Iridium busted or is it just slow? I think it's just slow. Yeah, 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 we're about to see it. Nice. Good timing. Let's see the stats on... Iridite Four Fragments. Very consistent over the last hour or so. I don't know what this was about. 
nice soup. Research fix? Uh, research? Oh yeah, I was... Holy crap. So they're actually coming from below. Uh... No? What? They're just pathing weird, I think. Okie dokie. Maybe some more walls would be a good idea. So they don't have line of sight. For the spit. Um... I think I should do some more cheese with manual uh, artillery, like I'd been doing before. Add fluid train for Gibble? Add fluid train. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we made ourselves some locomotives, right? Why is this empty of locomotives? Did we literally just have six gears this whole time? Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's getting pushed into... Well, that'll be enough for a couple of trains, right? I literally just need 14. Except it could be a lot quicker. Do we have another request chest? We do. Yeah, I forgot these take literally a minute. Um, we should be able to fluid wagon. Just do this and get away with it. Can I copy the schedule onto this? I don't think so. We're gonna find out. And here it comes. Nope, that did not work, but this did. We'll come back to that in a minute. I want to make sure I add a thermofluid drop-off. Well, hold on. If I add a thermofluid drop-off for negative 275 degree thermofluid, and it gets consumed and it goes back to 25 degrees, right? Do any of these output at a lower temp, but not 25? Yeah, they do. Um, oh, that goes to here. That's fine. So all of our negative 275 is going back to 25. How much storage do we have for 25? Not that much, kind of. Is this the same storage? I don't think so. Fluid system, 14k. 14k, it is actually. Okay, we've got tons of storage for 25 degree thermofluid. That said, I'm pretty sure I only want to drop off 275 degree thermofluid like once. Because I think this is going to end up build up if I'm not careful. This thing still hasn't left. That's unfortunate. Um, okay. Uh-oh. The biters are starting to spook me. Oh, it's up here. They never attacked up there before. Okay, I think I should probably give them some attention. I've been neglecting our poor biter friends. 
you know what? That laser does nothing. Let's just... let's just not. And we'll take the destroyer capsules. How much fuel do I have? 1.6 stacks. Okay. We can probably at least clear this out. Did we just lose half our bots? No, only five. Somehow. Thank you, Coast. No! Why did they have to, like, sling like that? It's really constricting my movement, trying to keep the bots from flinging into the claws. Hard to get the most out of their DPS while keeping them safe. I'm trying to conserve this ammo as well. I guess I've only got. No, wait, I do have destroyers automated on this planet. So it's really only the Tesla ammo that's sort of pseudo-precious, because I have to go somewhere to get it. I don't want to be spending time fighting fighters right now, I'm just pushing them back to the pollution cloud. In fact, let's make some more pollution absorbing blocks. This is why I didn't want to come back to now, because it's just going to be a bigger and bigger time sink. If I just ignored it and teched up to the point where I could press a button and eventually clear Nalvis, I wouldn't have had to put any time into it. Um, that's all the spawners anyway. This one's going to be a bit of a problem. Get around the other side. It's kind of like abusing the monster spawn limit in Terraria. Only so many enemies on the screen, no matter how quickly they'll respawn if you kill them. fuel do I have? 65. If I run out of ammo, 
without noticing it's about to happen, which is getting pretty close. That's not that big of a deal, I can run away. If I run out of fuel without noticing it's going to happen, that's instant death. 57 left. Let's get this nest. Fantastic. Forty nine. About to run out of Tesla. That'll do. All right, that should. Seriously, cut back on the biter attacks. Back on Nalvis 2, fixing all the issues I'd been ignoring for three months. <laughs> Turns out one block. Wait, wait, wait. I do not want to fall into the water with no fuel left. Okay. Turns out one block to make advanced circuits really bottlenecks data cards, indeed. It's also out of a lot of ore, and outposting doesn't sound fun. Thinking of doing a new planet base. Indeed. Um, is this holding up? Yeah, it is. Alright. Home sweet home. Let's have a look at our construction train. Hey, it's done its thing. I didn't count exactly how much scaffolding we need here, but I'm hoping 1,000 was enough for this build. 1.4k? No. Um, but yeah, I definitely oversupplied the uh, platforms. Have the train come back here after one more resupply. And wait indefinitely. Because I need to wait till all of this is placed so I can put down uh, the planned stuff. I don't... wait a sec. I don't see anything missing. Tile ghost. There's, there's nothing. Oh, was it because we already had some of this? Yeah, 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 that's why. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's put down our... Blueprint? Which does still have some problems. Um, I guess I need to... Change this as well. Unlike it. Wait. Where? Wait, what? Oh, it's here. But I was doing the input. Okay, cool. So that goes there. That goes there. Goes there. And that goes there. Don't need any filters on that. And surprisingly, we're short on belts of all things. Uh, also, zero research servers. At least we have them here. Let's knock this back a little bit, because I know that we've got stacks available there. Server. I'm sure 50 is enough. Just, just... Grab like 10. And then do your thing. And actually, you can just wait till inactivity because we've placed the blueprint. Nice. I'm just going to put energy 
four here. I think that's as good as any symbol. That this is where all of our energy science packs are going to be made. And I look forward to seeing some energy one and two in the rail network. Even though it's going to be a minute till we use them. The next thing I'd like to do is place a negative uh, negative 100 thermo fluid drop off from the rail network. But I think I want to, as I was saying, be careful and manual about uh, about actually supplying it. Because it's all going to get turned into 25 degree, and the whole thing's going to end up saturated, I think, if I'm not careful. Do I even have any... Uh, train stops here? I don't think so. Train is ready to go. It still has one more trip, though. Won't be long. I think we'll just do it like this. That'll be fine, actually. And this should be a chain signal. Where's our construction train? Already... wait, what? Wait, what? How do you not have research servers? Did I not actually... I did. What? How did you not... load up... research servers? Also, I am going to need the super inserters to finish this build, but that's fine. I don't understand. What I do understand is 5,000 uh, radiation data cards being picked up. Very nice. Uh, and we see both types of catalogs getting built. Very cool. Very good. Uh, let's look back over here. You know what? I think I would like to borrow construction train and get this done first. But also, where the hell are those research servers? There are research servers here. What the hell? So why didn't they get built last time? Oh, they did. Wait. How did I... Missed that. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We'll come back to that. Construction train, please park yourself over here indefinitely. Probably you'll be able to reach all of that. Yes. Fantastic. Huge storage tank is actually a bit too close. Um, I guess move all of this over a couple of tiles. And... Just like that. Actually, just we'll just summon a short train for this. Right. 
60k, actually 30k. Uh, negative 273, was it? No, negative 100. Negative 100 degree thermo fluid. And that's it. Except this needs to reach. Oh, it does reach. That's convenient. Catalog right side top stuck. Do you mean in this bill? Catalog right side top stuck. What do you mean here? Right side to oh. That's weird. Especially considering I copy pasted it from here to start this thing. Most unusual. Well, it's not urgent. But we already got this build finished, didn't we? Oh, we're we're blocking the copper train. Let's let's be gone. Wait for a little bit of inactivity. Now, why aren't we requesting cold thermo fluid right now? Short train, 31k, negative 100. Surely I've allowed short trains to pick up from here. Negative 10, yes. Um, negative 100, yes. There's just not that much cold thermo fluid. What the hell? Um, I guess we're playing catch up on thermo fluid in the rail network as well. I'm a little bit surprised by that, considering how easily we could accidentally summon an extra 60k negative 273 whenever we build something. This is also looking for negative 100. It's going to be a minute. Well, that doesn't help. And now I have to watch it like a hawk if I think that it really could oversupply. What I could do... Layout doesn't quite leave room to add a pump for decision making here. I could add a pump for output for the negative 273 that I could limit based on the negative 100. But then making the wires reach would still be bit of a pain. Uh, but yeah, I think what I'll do is literally just disable negative 273 for a hot minute. We don't want any of that right now. We want nothing but negative 100 degree. Oh, do we have power problems? No? This is just how slow the efficient recipe is. Actually... We're actually bottlenecked on the fluid itself. We don't have cryonite slush? Okay, that's the last thing I was expecting. Um, cryonite slush is made with cryonite rods. Why do I know we're satur oh this is the problem. I was gonna say I know we're saturated on cryonite rods. 
so it would be very, very weird if that was suddenly out. It was like two minutes ago that we were totally saturated on cryonite rods on two different rail blocks. Cryonite rod is also made here. Here it comes. Well, that's going to help, obviously. Um, I was going to say I should prod much all this. Can't prod ice. Crinite is basically free sulfuric acid. It's only one per 10 slush. That's not that cheap. We tend to go through relatively small amounts of slush, though, right? It's literally one slush for 40 supercooled for that one step. It's like between one and two. Okay. How long till we get a train load of slush? Twenty four per second. That's fast compared to what we need, but that is slow. Oh no. Uh, we also haven't been making ice, which could have been a real problem if we didn't catch it sooner. Maybe I should double this build. This wouldn't quite fit, but we could figure something out. Build more faster, indeed. Shmnutsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could make another build specifically for Slush, and it would be very easy to connect it to this. Why don't we do that? How quickly does it go through sulfuric? 2.4 per second. I don't think we really need another drop off for sulfuric acid here. Is there a train problem? No. Alright, wait for inactivity. Yes. And our train should almost be here. There it is. And then we're going to put this here. And then we're going to put this here. And then we're going to connect these two sides. Switch this off, copy paste, edit, get rid of the sulfuric acid, and switch them back on. And then don't forget to connect these. And make sure it is in fact not sulfuric acid that's being delivered. Fantastic. And then prod modules for everyone. Uh, how about some new power poles? Nice. And then maybe even a beacon? Uh, if they were a little closer together... Oh wait, <gasps> I can do all of them, just barely. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Beautiful.
Um, except I didn't decide what to put in the beacon. Beacon. Uh, efficiencies and also speed. Go. Power consumption, negative 80%. Seems good. Where are your speed modules? You've got speed modules. What are you doing? Hello? What? Did I misclick on this? Oh, I have to do these one at a time? Uh, okay. Okay. Don't leave. There we go. Negative 60%. I can live with that. You only put one in. Yeah, I thought it would, like... Um, I thought it would, like, fill out the rest. How fast is this? 25 per second. Beautiful. And... We need sulfuric acid input. Uh, how about... No, I put this in the worst possible place. This'll do. There we go. Alright, so what's our rate for slush now? 83.328 per second. And if all of this is going full speed with the ice, we're still net positive 58.328. That is a bit more cozy. I mean, I'm sure the rate that we had it before would be fine, but we're playing catch up now, so... So that'll do. That will do. Bear in mind, uh, we've got like 25 ice per second. That's a lot more than we need at the moment, but if we start going through it on a grander scale, something to remember. Okay. You know what? I kind of want some concrete over here. because it's kind of a hard block to see on the map. Wait for inactivity. And away goes our train. Fantastic. Beautiful. That's starting to look a bit tidier. Much easier to spot the ice icon on the map now. Alright. Uh, I think we're getting close to a train load of Cryonite Slush over here. 47k. Nope. It's still kind of slow. Oh, because it's only the dregs after we make ice that's coming... Well, it's not the dregs. We should still be positive. It's only like a bit more than a quarter of it that goes into ice. Yeah, we are getting like 50 per second. Why you not mine ores before building over it? Because there's just too much cryonite and we're getting all the cryonite we need from core fragments. And this would take 600 years to mine. Sorry, Inri, Inri. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Oh, let's do this one as well. They might even reach without making a trip. Maybe the chemical plants need to be filled first? Need to be filled. Y yeah, these do, but... Oh, huh, it's actually short water. Oh, the water can't keep up now. What? 2.5k water per second? That's kind of a lot, yeah. 
uh, we've got like 2.5k actually. And I've got rows of pumps here to try to keep it going. Pumping speed 1250 per second. So that should be keeping up. I wonder why we caught it not working for a moment. What the hell? Happy note, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you as well. Okay. Why do I see an underground pipe at the bottom going out? Because it goes to this station, which is LTN, and this one's for vanilla specifically because we needed vanilla to pick up here ice specifically, and vanilla picks up the crinite slush over here. Passing the water on. Uh, that's not water, that's crinite slush. It looks a lot like water. Yes, yes indeed. Okay. We've almost got our train load of Cronite Slush. Speaking of which, where is... So, we were short on Slush here, right? We are short on Slush here. LTN has 19k. So there should be a train... Yeah, this was before I changed how that worked. It should be this train specifically waiting for that Cronite Slush. And I could have it just skip this depot. And if there isn't enough Cronite Slush, just sit there waiting for it. But I guess it's fine. Alright. Meanwhile, in space, we have a desperate shortage of coolant here. I'm going to turn that off until I'm ready to deliberately summon some thermofluid. Because I really, really don't want this to oversaturate. And the automation to make sure it doesn't would be too much of a hassle. We are up to 40% on our superior inserters now, so that's good. What should we build next? Well, while we think about that, let's get our construction train down here for a bit. Material science? Seems good to me. Um, I want to start it right about here. A cargo rocket crashed. It is indeed a time of day. Yes, that is what they do. El Presidente. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we've got bots set up to automatically pick up the pieces after the cargo rockets crash. We've basically got construction bots ferrying all the resources because we've got storage chests that only allow certain items. Uh, and then the only unfiltered one this stuff goes back to the mall, basically. And I do have a mechanism so that the core fragments, once we have a certain number of stacks, um, will be offered back to the rail network as well. Case in point, well, it's working here with cargo sections. Once there's 200 stacks of something in the mall, uh, it'll be offered up to LTN. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what is... 
is next, I wonder. I still need to clear that nest, really. I don't want to. The power, um... The power armor power bottleneck is really, really nasty. With K2, with lasers. At least at this tech level. What if we could reduce train UPS usage by making pathing really dumb? Making the rails basically a giant loop with exits. So a train only has to think, is this my exit? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't ever gotten that far, but can cargo crashes damage stuff? I don't think they do. I think they only, you know, spray all over the place and lose cargo. Um, but the solution is about the same anyway. We need to have robots... Uh, we need to have robots supplied. We, we need to have a robot network covering the area, so we may as well give them repair packs. They definitely don't do enough damage to actually break things in one go. Okay. I think I'd like to do another space build. But I really want to see this thermofluid. Uh, where is it? Oh, we've got some here. 19, plus 12, plus 7, plus 2, plus 1. It's not very evenly spread out. And I wouldn't expect it to be. I don't know how much this is, but it's hopefully more than 30k. And we has thermo fluid. Pretty please. Where are you going with that? No, that's a different build. No, why are you like this? Uh, how fast is this? Uh, 1.22k per second. Damn. I don't think that's our bottleneck. Yeah, because we left room for the higher level thermal radiators for later. We've got our cryonite slush. Alright, cool. Now we don't have sulfur? We do have sulfur. We're just not outputting... Wait, what? I can see... Oh, we've limited... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how we control our output. We're not putting in more stuff. As opposed to... Having a good place to squeeze in a pump for the output. So this means we do have plenty of 25 degree thermo fluid. Cool, cool, cool. And you can see from, from this. Well, this is still not getting input. But I... Hmm... Uh, that pump is maybe not helping. Oh, that's the output side. Yeah. So yeah, the input isn't getting all the way to the end up here. But if I allow more thermofluid to be in here, then... Our storage for recycling the thermofluid is maybe a bit more sketchy. And it has to be a fraction, like it, it's the level it's the level of the fluid in the containers that is making this slower. So I mean what if I had what if I just had a ginormous twenty five degree thermofluid storage over this way? And then allowed significantly more thermo fluid. What, what am I limiting this to? 1,000 out of 50,000? Maybe we could risk allowing this to go to 10%? 
so that the thermofluid could actually reach the end of this. Regardless, oh, we've definitely, definitely got some thermofluid delivered up here now. Fantastic, that's what I want to see. Alright, that should speed up the whole superior inserters thing. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do a build. Let's get started on... I was going to say Material Science Pack 1, but looking at this reminded me there was something that I wanted to do here. Maybe it was just Material 1, actually. Let's clear that out. Put our regular block in. Fill it with scaffolding. And I guess we could work backwards. If I really wanted to work backward, I would start with the material science version of this, but that's literally just changing some signals and recipes. Uh, it's basically already done. We've actually already got material insight. Um, I could copy paste edit. The catalogs as well. So we know we have those finished. We'll just double check that like the ratios are going to be all the same and stuff. Or close enough to. Pretty sure there's no issue here. Yeah, it's literally just bring four cards to place. And negative 100 degree thermofluid. Uh, I'll just procrastinate that for a minute. So it's really just the data card builds. Like, we've kind of got everything else templated. Cool, cool, cool. I'll see if I can do half builds for each, just like before. Material science... Oh, I remember cold and hot being symmetrical, actually. Like, same ratios and stuff, if I remember. Cold is... Thermodynamics facility. I think hot is as well. Get out of here. Cold and hot. Point eight point eight one point point eight point eight point one point one point four point eight point one point one point four. Yeah, yeah. They're basically the same recipe. What was the name of that editor mod again? It is called Editor Extensions. Editor Extensions. Alright, this is going to go about here. Which one comes first? Uh, we can actually do this many if we really want to. It's probably overkill. I approve. How many items go in? Only two. Two in, two out, plus fluids. Um, I don't know if we can really fit this many. Nor do we need to. I'm sure this will be enough. At tier 3 modules. Um, that 
that's not actually doing anything. Actually, yes it is. Cut, paste. Brilliant. It's no kill like overkill, indeed. Plus 20% power, I'm not about that. Give me some more efficiency. Negative 70%, close enough. And what's our rate? 32 uh, contaminated scrap per second. 4 and 16 for the inputs. This is fine. This is going to be a very straightforward build. Uh, individually, we're looking at less than 2 items per second. Two, four, six, and my fluid reaches like so. Fantastic. This is going to be a very, very straightforward couple of builds. It's more like 1.1 builds, because the other one's just going to be copy-paste, change the recipes. Uh, bulk reel loader. Uh, we're also going to need contaminated scrap and contaminated scrap for output. Is it going to be a challenge to fit those nicely? Ross? Probably not. Probably not. Let's move this over a little bit. Leaning toward the middle. And we'll have room for another output like this. What was the setting that I should put in the mod settings for editor extensions? Uh, if you want to use it, if you want this surface that's parallel to your main game, go to Settings, Mod Settings, and the Per Player tab. And then it's the last setting under Editor Extensions. Anything other than Off will give you the surface. Uh, and if you mouse over that, it'll also tell you you might want to turn off uh, sync inventory and cursor between play modes if you don't want to cheat. Nice, indeed it is. It's very nice. Let's get a another pickup right about here. And that's just going to be contaminated scrap. One, two, one, two, three. Wait, what? No, that's right. No, it's not. One, two gaps here. Alright, so this one's going to be hot, and the layout should be exactly the same, except there's no thermofluid. Well, that makes it easier. Oh no. No, 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 no. Get rid of the pipes. Do I have a decon planner for that? Surprisingly, yes. I was going to say surprisingly no. Material science is the worst when it comes to logistics. Is that so? So we're looking at two belts of contaminated scrap output at most. Let's do it like this. And we'll have long trains only picking up from here. 
and 25 degree thermofluid. Whoops. So this will be contaminated scrap and 25 degree thermofluid active provided. Now I need to copy paste this actually because I want all of this. There we go. Just the name please. No, I'm... Hmm, what's the color of this thing? One five five zero one five five. Give me that. Fantastic. All right. Provide stack threshold one hundred. Provide threshold sixty k. Long trains only. No limit. Uh, balance it with a splitter. And. Bring our output down here. How fast are our data cards? Pretty slow, I imagine. Four point oh, that's fine. And where's my delivery cannon chest? We'll just limit this to balance it. Uh, and we won't be going with the provide stack threshold of 80 these days. Alright, this is cold. Thermodynamics data. This is hot. And then... It's going to make the piping a lot neater, the fact that the thermofluid's only on one side. Alright, so they both need blank cards and material testing packs. Blank data card, material testing... Requester, and then also thermofluid. Thermofluid should be pretty slow, 40 per second. This will be fine. And we're going to do the input fluid on this side. Um, we need to split these. That's a loader. That's not an unloader. Someone's probably already said so. Okay. So we're going to need um, split belt. Which do we consume more of? Testing packs. Let's do the testing packs on the inside. Not that it matters. At this rate. Said so. What? None. Let's flip that around. This goes... Well... Kind of want the pipe to behave. That seems okay.
That's a seven. And that is not quite a seven. Are the long pipes a space exploration thing or is it a UPS saving thing? Uh, yes, both of those. It's not just UPS though, it's also the flow rate because it's fewer pipe segments. Uh, fluid behaves very weird uh, in Factorio. It, it doesn't really behave like fluid. It's very, very, very viscous, very sticky, very slow. Meloxyl, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's do test input. I'm going to use my now habitual uh, set filters blacklist for anything that has less than four physical inputs. Very, very easy to set up. And we'll want to do the same thing over yonder. Except that we don't need any pipes. Why is that wrong? Because I didn't flip it yet. Oh, we do need fluid input. Yep. We do indeed need fluid input. That's not quite right. There we go. Fluid in Factorio works by balancing adjacent inventories every tick, indeed. Yeah, so you end up with... Like, say you have... I know a good example, actually. Say you've got this really big line of uh, storage tanks, and you're taking... Well, we're doing that right here, actually, but not very quickly. Um, say you were taking a whole lot of petroleum from this side. What you would end up with after a little while is this side far more full than this side. It's going to be like a staircase of smaller amounts of petroleum as you go to the right. Um, and it just takes far longer than you would think for it to level off. So it finds a balance like the real world, but it doesn't fully use the capacity of a pipe. The more full a pipe is, the faster it's going to have throughput um, if there's a pump taking from it or something. Uh, but the more full the, uh, the more full a container gets, the harder a pump has to work to push stuff into it as well. Um, you want to be pushing into an empty container and you want to be taking from a full container to go as fast as possible. That's not quite right. And this can go here. That will do. Let's copy paste flip over here. And we do the exact same thing. Except this is going over here. looking for right side contaminated scrap only. Or to put it another way, left side cold data and left side hot data. Uh, that should all work. Let's do some testing. 
Let me just check these uh, settings and stuff first. Oh, I need the thermofluid to actually be connected over here. Let's do it this way. Three, four, how about three? We need 13 tiles, or give or take. How about nine? That's not going to reach, is it? 10, 11, 12, 14? No. Damn it. How about 10? That's not going to reach either. Why are you like this? What about 5 and 7? That'll do, I guess. Doesn't look too bad. Then this will connect over here. Uh, we don't have any thermofluid output, though, on this side. But we do need... That's bugging me. Um... This, I guess. It's gonna have output sticking out. That's okay. Okay. Thermo fluid. And hot stuff. Plasma stream. What temperature are we looking for? Negative 100. And that seems to be it. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Greetings to you as well. The problem is a pipe only has so much fluid it can pass along. Even if the pump wants to put a thousand fluid in, the pipe can only handle a hundred minus what's already in the pipe. Yeah. Uh, the steel pipes actually have larger capacity as well. That all looks pretty good. Don't need a, another pair of signals up here. Alright. I think that's our build. Why are you slightly imbalanced? Why are you imbalanced by, like, a stack? You you literally have a splitter. Oh, is it literally this? How much? It's literally what's on this belt right here. That makes sense. That's fine. So if I cut this off at any given moment, they should be equal. Or, like, one off. Perfect. Perfection. Okay. Uh, we seem to be having output problems, but I did just cut off the whole thing. Let's see. Output here is... Call it 33 plus 4. 37 out of 45. That should be fine. Yeah, I believe that's our first material science build. Let's clear out the extra uh, scaffolding and whoops put some back in just to make sure it doesn't look too sketchy probably tidy that up I wish the decon would work from there do this actually. Um, I 
probably get rid of these by now. That definitely looks dodgy. That doesn't look too bad. Except for this bit on the left. Miss a green wire on top right. Oh, true, thank you. Check all the others. And we don't need the test inputs at this point. Alright. That seems pretty good to me. Let's blueprint. And that'll be our first... Uh, apart from the insights that we already did, that'll be our first material science in the rail network. Six twenty five one and I think that's everything. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't do the input station names, I don't think. Or the LTN settings. Uh I partly did. Alright, so we need negative a hundred thermofluid. going into a thermodynamics facility, and out comes all data. Just double check, negative 100, yes, fantastic. Uh, and this one is plasma stream in. And hot data out. And then we need blank data card times uh, 50 times 200 20,000 is it? Uh, whoops 10,000 oh. and testing pack actually how fast do we go through these testing packs? Uh, 1.632 stacks per second. Does it... Is there a universe where it helps to summon more than two train loads at a time? Probably. Let's see, if this is... Uh, 100 stacks for each bulk rail unloader... That leaves 200. Yeah, let, let's let's do four train loads of testing packs. So stacks to 10, doesn't it? Yeah. 10 times 400, 4,000. It's really only 4,000. Uh, and then negative 100. Thermo fluid. And then we copy paste over here and just change this one to plasma stream. And long trains only. And it should stay balanced enough that we don't have to worry about it being imbalanced. Probably. Now we can blueprint. And find out just how hard our trains are going to have to work to keep up. Uh, hot. And cold. Wait, isn't that cold? But I said hot. But apparently I typed cold. No, if I type hot, I can see the cold thermodynamics data. 
Interesting. Okay. Uh, hot and cold. Thermo data. Once more with feeling. And that should be our build. Snap 2 looks good. Let's put it down here. And decide where to physically build it. Uh, and I think I already said I wanted to put it here-ish. E fuzzy string matching is fun. Cold <laughs> dynamic stuff. I guess. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't. I don't know why I pushed it this far away from the middle with the energy sides. But regardless, it's probably fine. I'm thinking here would be a good spot. Somewhat arbitrary, of course. Let's grab our construction train. And we'll probably have to make a couple of trips. Before we've got all of our scaffolding done. doop a doop we got long arm inserters. And then after you do that, reload and come back and do it again. Actually, wait indefinitely on the second trip. And I'm just realizing... We don't have any thermo. Thermo dynamics facility twenty. What are we? What are we asking for? Twenty four. No, it was. Yeah, I think it was twelve on each side. Uh, thermo. Yeah, twenty four. Okay then. Let's make thirty. And do we need to add anything? It doesn't look like it. But apparently we're loading 600 steel before we even start. Alright, cool. Let's swap out those research servers. And I might need to... Make a few more stacks available for that. While we're here, drop some more solar panels. Fantastic. Wait, no, no. Didn't mean to add that other stuff. One more up here. I'm never actually using that particular blueprint. Maybe I'll just get rid of it. Yeah, I think I will. All right. Or bot. It's going to have a bit of a trek. Should probably place another... No, I want to make sure we have enough scaffolding. For what we're aiming to do right now. Alright. Is there anything I want to do on Nalbus? There is. I need some... Centrifuges.
Maybe I should do some cover eggs while I'm at it. Oh, did I not request these here? No, I did. That's part of... Uh, this combinator set here has a dual purpose. Setting requests and putting stuff in the tree. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I should really just swap out which uh, buildings we're putting in here more often, because there's only ever like one or two buildings at a time that we're placing. And a lot of these stack sizes are terrible. This train is... Oh, I was going to say, this train is moving surprisingly slowly. Because it's waiting for this slowpoke. Speaking of slowpokes, poor butt. Or steel. Fantastic. F for the bot, indeed. Alright, we should have enough scaffolding to finish this. I certainly hope so. They look kind of like big ships. The uh, outlines here. Hurry up, bots. Ooh, flat solar panels almost at. Oh, it is at 20%. Nice. Yeah, I think we will upgrade all of these. Uh, the old flat solar panels in the rail network. There's actually quite a few of them by now. Do you not have more scaffolding? Really? Uh, okay. Why don't you drive past here so we can place some more solar panels, and then... Go resupply. Uh, did I get my centrifuges? Yes, I did. Let's go make a little... Little uranium processing build over here. What is going on? What? Huh? Why is this not connected? What? Really? Is this just the first fluid delivery that's happened here? Do the pumps really just not connect at these spots? Even though the cargo wagon, or the wagon, is straight. That's unhelpful. Alright, let's go fix it. It's a curved track. There's some curved track near it, but that track itself is very straight. What's this? Heat shield LDS. Let me repair this real quick. Hello? Thoughts? Anytime you're ready? Do I have bots crawling back towards me from somewhere? 
Uh, I hope not. Okay. Let's keep going. I'll be interested to see if this works. Oh, it doesn't line up. Uh, that's even worse. What do I do? Should be a debug option to test for lagging bots. Oh, true. I think I've got it on F5. I could be wrong. I do. Alright, cool. Alright. These are already empty. What happens if... I put a pump here? It actually does connect. So I guess I just have to be content with one belt. Switching from the back to the front. From the first drop off. And then I have to change the shape of all this. I don't suppose. Well, I could do this, but like, it wouldn't. There wouldn't be a nice, tidy spot for a pump. Let's just do this, I guess. Damn, that is a lot of mineral water coming from core fragment processing. We're not getting it anywhere else, right? Pretty sure? Yeah, that's all from core fragment processing. Okay, then. Uh, uh, we need to make sure this is connected as well. And I'll have to do that everywhere else. Uh, and this should be greater than about 195k. Output, I mean the other end is fine. And we should be able to just copy paste this part. We can make it resource type agnostic. And don't forget to connect the wires. And then we need to do the same. Well, we don't need to do the same thing over here. We've removed the fluids because we don't need them. In fact, there's no fluid here either. That'll be fine. My inventory is crying. There we go. Oh, I ran out of fuel, didn't I? Oh, no. Walk of shame. Unless... I have two pieces of wood that I could use for jetpack fuel. That's that's it. Uh, we've got some coal that came from an infinite source. Why don't we take that? Give me that coal. Okay, maybe not that much. Whatever, it's fine.
run out of fuel again? What is happening? Carelessness. Carelessness is happening. What is this? Oh, this is where it's supposed to be. Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, uranium processing, you say. I think we literally just need a couple of these to keep up with the core fragment processing. 0.169 uranium ore per second. Uh, okay, I do need a little bit more speed than that. We may as well prod mod it as well. How about a little baby beacon? Can we perhaps... No, not quite. And some speed. And some efficiency. I think we need like six efficiencies. Negative 60%. Yep. Oh, I forgot this makes stone and iron as well. I might be lazy and just belt the stone and iron over here. Uh, let's see. Uranium. Oh, why don't I... Why don't I do a little 2x2 two two chest to sort it? That's such a beautiful site. Superior long inserters. We can make them. Yes, yes, yes. I could already mass produce them on the ground at Hagen. Very cool. Well, probably in orbit as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already brought everything up. Alright, what's our rate here? Um, 1.33 uranium per second. 0.169. Oh, I misread it. This is way faster than we need. That's fine. Anyway. I guess I should do... Give me some fuel. Give it all to me. So I need uranium... 235 and uranium 238 pick up here. I think I'll just do a regular old rail block instead of mucking around. Probably don't have enough landfill on me. Where's my landfill on this planet? There's a bunch of it up here, right? Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit of landfill. Fantastic. Wait, went past it. Is that going to be enough? Soon find out. It is more than enough. Then, fastabulous. Let's get some. Well, I don't need the old power poles, but other than that, that blueprint's fine. Oh wait, I was looking for this one actually. can just do the uranium outputs in the obvious place. Output. 
this. Uh, I, I think I'll just do the 2x2 two two chest. It'll be tidier. Uh, so iron is up the top left. Stone is this way. Didn't finish a recipe yet, did we? No, fantastic. Uranium-235 and Uranium-238. And we'll use the usual delivery cannon chest to casually balance these. here, right? Eventually. I should probably input it all the way up there just to be safe. We get the corner and stone I guess I'll just mirror. Stone can go in there. Except we'll need a little bit more underground. Hello everyone, Merry Christmas, see Moogle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's kind of spooky. I might need to add more laser here. Um, but here. Oh, I think I saw stone. Oh, this is backwards still, despite the belt facing the right way. Normally changing the belt direction changes these. The uh, loaders, that is. Alright, that should be all the uranium processing we need to keep up with the core fragment processing. Uh oh That's not what I want to see and or hear. Okay. Well, that's going to be a task for another time. Or maybe just off stream because it is a long process without a whole lot of Variance. Buppy cakes. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we build this? I want to build this before we finish today. Uh, do we have the thermo facilities? Yes, we do. Let's park over here. Wait for all of the inactivity. Supersized biters? Oh, yes. Yeah, we turned off Rampant because of UPS issues, but we've still got Armored Biters, which, uh, end up being a bit scary. Where's our train? Here it comes. Here she comes. Soon. Soon. 
soon. There we go. We might be a little short on belt. I'll program the... Tr whoops. I'll program the train to come back after one more resupply. Your rail block blueprint relative or absolute snapping? Absolute. The reason being, uh, I wasn't actually using absolute snap until this playthrough. Um, but the thing that converted me was the space elevator. Because the, uh, the coordinates for the space elevator in orbit and on the surface are going to be exactly the same. So I definitely want to build everything to line up to that. And it just makes things easier um, to keep it all lined up. That is quick. Damn. We've already got all the data cards. I mean, uh, material testing packs that we're asking for. Nope, there's another thousand on the way. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. Alright, but that is going to do it for today, I think. Um, no stream tomorrow because Christmas. We'll be continuing the day after that. And... Yeah. Let's see who we're going to raid today. Who's playing Factorio? Merry Christmas, you need the temporary stop defaults mod under your tree this year. <laughs> Indeed. Ho ho ho, merry shenanigans. Sounds good. Let's drop in a mucky. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Take care, see Moogle. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by. Akira, see you next time. Let me just pause it in case biters are eating my base, actually. There we go. And empty null. Take care. I wish filters were default to whitelist. Default to whitelist. Which filters? Uh, anyway, let's drop in on Mucky. Take care, guys. Of anything, they default to blacklist now. Oh, I haven't updated for a minute. That's interesting. Well, it's inconvenient. <laughs> if it feels good, do it. Uh, so, Jamo, yesterday I was away for 20 hours. That was horrible. Killed the wall task.